My healing is already an accomplished fact. I've made up my mind. I'm leaving with a miracle. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Miracles on the Mountain. Praise God. Are you expecting a miracle tonight? Are you expecting many miracles tonight? Well, we welcome all of you who are here, here with us at Eagle Mountain International Church. We're coming to you live right now. For all of those that are watching us from the top of the world to the bottom, all the way around the middle, welcome to Kenneth Copeland Ministries, EMIC. Give them a great hand tonight. All right. Say this after me. We declare declare the glory of the Lord Lord. over this service tonight. We believe we receive receive signs, signs, wonders, wonders, miracles, miracles, demonstrations demonstrations of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit, Spirit. you are welcome in this place. In Jesus' name. Come on, give God praise, everybody. Oh, hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you and thank you this night for all that is going to take place here and around the world in this great worldwide healing and miracle service tonight. Can you give the Lord thanksgiving? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Well, greet one another, welcome one another this evening, and then you can go ahead and be seated. Just filled with the expectation of God to see the miraculous take place. Well, we welcome you. We're so glad that you're here. We're so glad that you've come to be with us. And uh, before we get into all of the particulars that I need to talk about, there are two very special people in church with us tonight. We want to recognize them. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. We sure love them and appreciate them and so glad that they're able to be with us tonight for this great meeting that we're having. And um, you know, we're not just all in this room right now. We've got a lot of folks that are watching us out there. And during the course of this meeting, all 50 states, District of Columbia, 65 countries around the world have been watching miracles on the mountain. Praise God. Glory to God. <clears throat> Glory <clears throat> to God. <clears throat> I'm so thankful for <clears throat> just the opportunity to be able to be here, to be able to do this. And uh, you know, we are redeemed from COVID-19, right? <clears throat> Glory to God. And it's so good. It's so good to be back with each other. It's so good to have the body of Christ joining together with each other. And uh, I want to take a moment and thank some folks for all of the hard work that they've done during the course of this great Miracles on the Mountain. Uh, all of our volunteers, our staff, those who have been participating and working, I know that a lot of them are out doing various things right now, our children's ministry, all of that. Um, if you have volunteered or serve on staff at Kenneth Copeland Ministries, would you please stand right now? Would you please stand right now? Come on, give them a great hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a great team. What a wonderful team. And I, I had mentioned to you about children's ministry. We've had Super Kid Academy that's been taking place during this time. And you know, they have not been uh, in a place where they're being uh, babysitting and just being watched over. They are participating in the move of God. And I showed a couple of pictures this morning. I want to show them again of some of the things that are taking place at Super Kid Academy. Look at this. Look at this. <clears throat> Just wonderful. That's one of my granddaughters right there laying hands. Thank you, Jesus. And then they sent me a clip of just one of the things that was taking place, the move of God that was taking place among the children. And make sure we crank that sound up because I want you to hear what these children are doing. And they, you know that Jesus is coming and you know that there's a mighty move of God afoot when everybody's involved in it. Take a look at the children.
Praise God. Wow. Isn't that great? Just absolutely magnificent to see them participating like that. Well, it's offering time, everybody. And uh, this is very special for me because I have the honor and the privilege of receiving the offering tonight for Billy Burke. And what a privilege it is to be able to do that. And um, let's pray over this time because this is very special and I've received a word from the Lord about this offering this evening. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this offering time, how special it is and how much we love Pastor Billy, Melanie, their family, their ministry, their staff. And Lord, he just brings such a presence with him to Eagle Mountain. It stirs us up. It encourages us. And Father, we know there are people here from all over, all over, that have come to participate and see the demonstration of the working of miracles. And we're just so grateful for Billy Burke and the anointing that is on him to do this. And Lord, I thank you for this word that you've given to me tonight to give to him. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. <clears throat> I spent some time this afternoon praying over this offering. And I just said, Lord, what do you want to say? What do you want to direct us in concerning the offering? And he said something very interesting to me. Um, it, it began as just one phrase and he said, sow it forward. Sow it forward. This is not an offering for particularly what you've done or what you're going to do tonight. But the Lord said, sow into Billy Burke's future. So into Billy Burke's vision. So into Billy Burke's dream. And so I asked the Lord, I said, what does Billy Burke's future look like? What does, <laughs> what does Billy Burke's vision look like? What does his dream look like? And as I thought to myself, praying over it, I thought, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. And I wrote this down. It looks like he's called to do the same thing that Jesus did. Same thing. Matthew 9, 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. So I believe his future, his vision, his dream is to be more and more conformed to the image of the Lord Jesus Christ and especially operate in the working of miracles, the gifts of healing, and the deliverance of the people. It looks like he's called to do the same thing the apostles did. Acts 5, 12. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs. And you know that word signs in the Greek is the word miracles. Signs and wonders were done among the people. So it looks like he's called to carry on the works of Jesus and the apostles in the present day church. And I was reminded, Pastor Billy, of something that the Lord spoke to me in 2014. Terry and I went to South Africa. We were invited there by our offices to speak and we uh, spoke in various places. I had the privilege of speaking at Raymond Church, Pastor Ray McCauley, and, and, and Pastor Terry was with uh, Andre uh, uh, Ropert and preaching in his church. And we were in different places. And then it came to the end of almost the two week period of time that we were there. And we had one last meeting to do. It was a two day ministers conference, pastors conference. And so it was late in the evening, the night before the conference was to start. And I was the first speaker and I had no idea what I was going to say. I brought, I brought all of my pastor minister messages with me and I'm going through them, looking at them and there's just nothing there. It's just totally empty. And by that time, Terry went to bed. It's 11 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. And finally I sat back and I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And he yelled at me. <laughs> he yelled at me. 
He said, I want my church back. I want my church back. And Billy, he said, I want signs and wonders and miracles reintroduced to my church. He said, I don't want them in just a one time a year conference or on a special occasion. I don't want healing hidden back behind the platform and away from the congregation. I want these signs, wonders, and miracles to become as much a part, a regular part of the life of your church as it was in the book of Acts. I want my healing and miracle ministry back in my church in full force. I also want the full operation of the gifts of the Spirit back in my church. They've been edged out and I want them back. Demonstrations of the supernatural are one of the major distinguishing marks of my glorious church and they should be commonplace. Do what I did. I am your pattern for my glorious church. Teach, preach, and heal. And so what does Billy Burke's future and vision and dream look like? It looks like that. That's what it looks like. It looks like the deliverance of the human physical condition. It looks like more demonstrations of notable miracles. It looks like more people being healed than ever before. So we're sowing into your future. We're sowing into your tomorrow. We're sowing into what your ministry looks like because there are many more people to be reached, many more people to be touched. And we have over the years, these 18 years together that we've worked together here in these meetings, you've been nothing but a blessing to this church and you've been nothing but a blessing to the body of Christ. And your future is just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is what the Lord said. This offering will make a, will be a big, sorry, this offering will be big enough to make a major difference in their ministry. <clears throat> It'll be big enough that it will make a major difference. Whatever it is that you have on the vision list, the vision board, whatever it is that's in your heart, Billy, we're with you. We're with you. We trust you. We know you. And we know that whatever is in your heart, God has put it there because of your sensitivity to the Spirit of God. So we're stepping into the future. Tonight. This is an offering. This is an offering for the future. And the Lord said to me, the harvest of this offering will make a major difference in the lives of this congregation. You're sowing into something really, really, really big. Whatever we sow into, we receive a harvest of like kind. And so tonight as we sow into their future, we will reap a harvest of future. Tonight as we sow into their vision, we will reap a harvest of vision. Tonight as we sow into their dream, we will reap a harvest of of dreams. That's what this offering is all about. And Billy, it's going to be big. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge because it's going to make a major difference in your ministry and what you have set before you. Thank you, Jesus. And so we, before we receive this offering, I just wanted to let you know that if you're not a partner with Billy Burke, then you need to be because he's producing great results for the kingdom of God. And those of you that are watching us right now, you can go to billyburke.org. The information is on the screen. <laughs> billyburke.org. I was there today. It's an exciting website. How exciting is that? And so to partner with him is to partner with someone who's walking in such a place of the working of miracles and you're sowing into a miracle tonight. Every one of us are sowing into miracles tonight. And so, those of you that would like an envelope, uh, there's one in the seat in front of you. If you're sitting on the front row, just raise your hand. One of our ushers will bring one to you. If you're writing a check, you can make it payable to EMIC. 
Those of you who want to give by text, you can text 36609 to the keyword EMIC guest and then the dollar amount. If you're watching and you want to uh, give online, it is emic.org slash give and click on the EMIC guest speaker dash Billy Burke. Uh, if you want to call us, 817, A77 rather, 281-6297 and folks will help you in your offering there. And then by mail, uh, KCM, Fort Worth, Texas, 76192. And Pastor Billy, we're excited about what your future is. Melanie, we're so excited about what God has for the two of you. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. So ushers, if you could wait on the people when the people are ready, go ahead and serve them. And David, the team, if you could lead us, please. that pardons I have found those stripes that heal I have found that strength for weakness I found grace for sin It's in Jesus. It's in Jesus. It's all in Jesus. It's in Jesus. in Jesus. If you need a new heart, if you need lungs, whatever you need, if you need kidneys, if you need hair, if you need teeth, oh, it's all in Jesus. It's all in Him. All you do is receive, yeah. It's in Jesus, yeah. He's the one. Well, the windows of heaven are open. We're connected to the portal right now. And we are going to experience tonight miracles, things that we've never seen before, things that we've never experienced before. We're going to a new level. We're going to a new place. Are you ready for miracles tonight? Would you welcome, please, Billy Burke.
we're singing this, I mean, we're thinking about your thing. Your things, not impossible. You know, I, I was praying for a lady in Queens years ago. I was just, you know, at that time, a very young preacher, still learning a whole lot as we still are still learning a whole lot. And I called this lady up from the back of the church. I didn't see that she was on a walker. I couldn't see the walker. I could see her. And I said, you, ma'am, back there, she was like maybe third to the last row. And I said, ma'am, I'm talking to you. And she said, me. I said, yeah. I said, come on, God's touching you. And I'd, all I knew was his touch, he was touching this woman. But when she had a hard time getting out of the pew and, you know, finagling the walker, I saw, oh, wow. And the church was made so that you had to walk uphill to get to the altar. There was like an incline. And I thought, oh, Lord, you know. And so she was just having a time. Well, she was dragging her one leg. The whole bottom of her leg was just twisted. So she was dragging it twisted, like from right above the ankle to the ground. I didn't realize it was going to be one of my greatest lessons. I mean, just one of the greatest things that, that I've learned in the Spirit. And so I waited for her to come up. It took five minutes for her to get there. And she came up and, and she just, you know, she had really white hair, really blood of blue mascara, and a lot of red lipstick. And I thought, I'm praying for the flag right here, you know. I, I, I felt bad that I thought that, but that's what I was, I thought, there's a flag right here. And I didn't see her foot at the time. I just know that she was dragging, but I really didn't pay attention to that because I don't focus on the illness. I'm focused on him. And I said, so ma'am, I said, are we believing for a miracle tonight? And she said, I am. And, and I said, you're believing that God's going to do this for you. And she said, I am. And, and I said, so this leg down here don't work. She says, no, it don't. But she said, I, I'm believing that it will. And I said, so you really believe. And here's what she said to me. She said, I believe my Jesus can do anything. Now, when she said that, I did just what you did. And I went, amen, that's good enough for me. And I moved my hands just like this to touch her. Because that, what she said was good enough for me. But it wasn't good enough for him. And he, as I was right here, already to touch her, he said to me, I didn't ask her that. I didn't ask her if I can do anything. A lot of people know I can do anything. Ask her if I can do her thing. And I learned in that moment how we hide in generalities. Oh, I believe in the God that made the universe, and I believe in the God that did this, and I believe the God of the Bible. And, and so we don't always have trouble with the Bible stories. We don't leave church, go down here to have lunch, and think, was Bartimaeus really blind? Was Lazarus really dead? We accept those stories. The difficulty is, the challenge, can he do that for me? And my hand stopped right near her head, and she, she saw that. And she said, what's the matter? Aren't you going to pray for me? I said, ma'am, I said, listen, I, I'm trying to be as nice to you as I can, but I, I didn't ask you if God could do anything. And I said, I'm, I'm asking you about your thing. And she looked down at her twisted leg, and she said, you mean that? I said, well, that's why you're here. And she says, you know, I don't know about that. She was honest. She said, I don't know about that. She said, I've had that for so long. Well, I said, how about if we just get out of everything and put our faith on this thing? Come on, put your hands up. Say, I'm going to get out of everything and put my faith on my thing. Right here, right now, tonight. And, I, and when she did that, she said, okay. And she started crying. And I didn't want her to cry because then the blue was mixing with the red and it was not nice. And I thought, what did I do here? Because that's just really, you don't, want, you, know, you don't want that to happen. I'm not here to make anybody sad. But if you don't challenge the way somebody's thinking, they can't change. And I said, okay, here we go. So we're going to get down and we're going to believe now. And so I just had her say, Lord, I'm so sorry that I wasn't even thinking that you could do my thing. That I, I know you can do everything, but Lord, I'm, I'm believing tonight for my... And I had her say that, my thing, my thing, my thing, my thing, my thing. 
When I touched her, I mean the power hit her, that leg just straightened right out. I'm telling you the truth. And I left, I left that meeting tonight, not just with a lady that got her healing, but I learned something that I've been using all these years, and that is it's hard for people to focus on their thing. And it's important tonight that in this meeting, we don't have all night. I mean, last night we tried. Come on, somebody. <laughs> that was a hard meeting to close. Huh? How many would have stayed to at least two or three? Let me see. Oh, stop it. Stop it. But listen to me. Tonight in this short window of time that we have, it's important that you, as we focus on him, but just be aware of what, what is it you're after. Because you don't need me to touch you to get that. This atmosphere is charged. I mean, come on. If the world can have a hangover, we can have a holdover. Come on. And... And tonight, I believe there's going to be a double of what was here last night. But, but I, want you to get, I want you to get in touch with anything. Don't, don't just concentrate on who has the worst condition here. As I said, last night was killing people's high blood pressure. Type 2 diabetes is rampant. Fear. You know, I mean, they're going to shovel more of that fear at us. It's, it's on the way. It's on their menu. That's all they know. And we need people like you that are getting touched that can tell the world, hey, I want to tell you what happened to me. I want to tell you what happened to me. Come on, see, I want to tell you what happened to me. And, and you've got to be bold enough to do that. We have our own news system. Come on, we have our own good news. Put your hands up. Come on, say, tonight is my night for divine intervention. To believe, to believe that all things are possible, all things are possible. and my thing is possible too. Possible. Let's sing it. Come on. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing, Nothing is impossible when you put your Quietly come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, Holy Spirit, come on. Come, come sweet Spirit, I pray. Come in thy strength.
And you are the God that That healeth me. You are the God. After you sing like that, worship like that, right on the coattails of that, receive. Receive everything you've come in here tonight for. Let God begin to work on everything that you've brought to him tonight. Oh, we praise you, dear Jesus. Oh, we praise you, dear Jesus. We lift you up, our healer, our deliverer. Let bondages break here tonight. Addictions break here tonight. Let them break all over. Let yokes break all over this sanctuary. Say it with me, Holy Spirit. There's nobody like you. I need your help tonight. I'm not a professional. I'm a son and a daughter. But I'm not a professional. I'm just your son and your daughter, and I need some assistance. Connect me to the healer tonight in Jesus' name. Give him a thunder of praise. Come on. You know, really, David, as, as, you, as we just sing that, there should be at least three of you in this crowd tonight. At that very moment that your words are saying that, we've got to readjust. See, the thermostat's on your wall, not God's wall. You determine how hot you're going to get tonight, not him. Come on, give me your right hand. Let's, let's fix that thermostat. Because on, on the coattails of what we just sang, there should be at least three of you running out of your chairs up to here and saying the growth is gone, the lump is gone, the, the whatever is gone, the pain is gone. I can see, I can hear. We've got to raise the expectancy that say anytime, come on, say anytime, at any moment in this meeting, it's the hands of God to me. Come on, give him one more praise. One more praise. One more praise. Are they healed? What happened there? What happened? I had a growth on my back for 12 years, and uh, I went this morning to the clinic to have it removed. It was gone. We're not going to get into that level of hand clapping here tonight. Hey, hey, he's doing a miracle. That's more powerful than a, than a goalie, a homer, or a touchdown. Come on. We better give him praise. We better shout. We better do something. Listen to me. Listen to me. When they crossed the Red Sea, 
marry him and pull it out her timbrel. Don't let that guy go away. Where'd he go? Once you come up here, you have to get permission to leave. What's the matter with you? <laughs> when Miriam pulled out that timbrel, they sang horse and the rider, thrown into the sea. They were what? Grateful. See, gratitude causes the anointing to linger. I'm going to say that again. Gratitude. Say that. Gratitude will cause the anointing to linger in my home, in my hospital room, in my car. I mean, it's amazing just the uh, gratitude is what, and they sang that song, listen to me, and they were thrilled of what God just did, but they never did it again. When manna fell, they didn't do it. When the water came out of the rock, they didn't do it. When they began to see miracle after miracle of provision, they didn't do it. They began to assume it. And they lost that fresh fire of Lord it came from you I mean gratitude connects you to him and if you don't get connected to him then the devil's going to connect it to people and to a place you got to get connected to him tonight come on I'll, I'll put those hands up come on say I got to get vertical come on say my source is the Lord my God shall supply I got to get connected to him he's never lied He's not going to start with me. I got to show more gratitude for the things he's already done. It'll position me for more. Now, one more time, give him a mighty praise for what happened to this man. Come on. Come on. Now it's early in the evening. I'm yes, back there at seven. Four, yeah, so let's see if we can do this through the evening, that we don't wane on this. Let's keep this level of praise up there. You had this for how many years? Twelve years. And no, with no help at all, it just left. That's exactly right. I was still expecting it there this morning. Went to the clinic. the uh, The nurse was looking for it. Said, "I'll I'll take a picture of it." I went home this afternoon so I could actually look for myself and went feeling all around on my back, not there at all. No Somebody give God whatsoever. a mighty shout. Somebody have power to go. Somebody give God a mighty shout. Somebody give him a mighty shout. Oh my God. Yeah. Don't sit down yet. Yes. What's that? They're burning. The Your knees are burning? The screws are leaving. The screws are leaving. You can feel the screws I can leaving. I feel them moving. And I hope there's at least a few people that know how to whistle here. Is there anybody that can whistle? If we're going to celebrate, let's do it with everything we got. Come on. Look at this. She can feel the screws leaving her body. The screws. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Put your hands up. Come on, say, Lord, I give you my life to do whatever you will. Do whatever you will. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'll lay aside my preference. I'll lay aside my preference. I do not want my preference. I do not want my preference. To impede my progress. To impede my progress. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Give her a big God bless you. Come on. Come on, anybody over there? Somebody else? What happened here? What happened, ma'am? California, and all of a sudden I found Flashpoint. Uh huh. And I got news from the doctor that they were going to cut off my toe. Cut off your toe. A bone infection. Uh huh. And so I was asking God, I know that's not your will, yeah. but whatever you want. Yeah. And so, anyway. Um, the program, I said, God, I just want to hear through yeah. Flashpoint yeah. someone. I'd never seen you before. It was, I think, in January. Don't say you've never seen me before. Well, I, I came from California. Yeah, that's okay. That's <laughs> okay. all right. Anyway, so um, 
I was praying, I was praying, and I said, Lord, I need a word, nothing, nothing, nothing. And at the end of the program, you said, there's a woman that they're going to cut off her toe. And he said, God is never going to let anyone cut your toe off. And I just thank God for that. Thank God for that. Specialist. What's that? I have four specialists. Four and, specialists? Uh, yes, and every time it gets smaller and smaller oh and smaller. My. And tonight, I want it all gone, and I have two wonderful daughters that brought me here tonight. And I just thank God, and they have some medical issues, and I just thank God for them that I could come, and I know God's going to set our family Power. free. Come on, somebody in God. See, I mean, 80% of the battle's over when you come expecting. Yes. Expecting means I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for change. Quickly, yes. I, well, I had this big, I don't know what it was, but I've had it for a long time. And it's down to a little, tiny, tiny, uh -huh. little, tiny thing. It's disappearing. On your leg? Yes. I've had it for a long time. It was huge. I just felt it. And you back. just felt it back and there I, and it went down. I was starting to feel it, you know, because I was like, I'm believing for it. And I noticed it was down a lot. And it's down to just like a little tiny. Little tiny, tiny thing. <laughs> come here. Come on. Come on. Put your hands up. It's amazing what God's doing for you. It's amazing. Doors that have never opened for you before will open now. Opportunities you wanted when you were younger yes. didn't happen, but they will open Thank now. You. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation 3 8, he knows your heart. He sets before you an open door. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, I'll tell you quickly. Hurry! It already happened, right? It already happened? Yes. What happened? Just happened out. Um, Come on, ma'am, hurry I up. came expecting. We drove six hours here, and I came, I said, God, I'm came, I came expecting. And when we started worshiping, I felt I had a hysterectomy when I was very young. Hysterectomy when you were young. Very young. And when we started singing, I felt a burning. I, I believe my ovaries down are forming. Down your uterus here. Yes, right here. I had never felt that in, in, in 10 years. And I felt, and I, I just believe my ovaries and, and womb is, is there now. See, what you got to do is, I mean, if everything, if every disease begins with a symptom, let me say this, every disease begins with some kind of a symptom, then a miracle is whenever any symptom begins to disappear. You've got to connect those dots. We, the preachers, can't connect your dots for you all the time. Like, hey, that burning means you're healed. We can't do that all the time. But she wasn't burning before you came in. You've got to begin to think, wow, why is that burning? No, you don't come to think that. You begin to think, wow, God's moving in me right now. Whether you pull into Starbucks or you pull into the drugstore or wherever you're out there and you've been praying, you've been in the Word that day, you don't know when God's going to choose to, you know, to put that touch on you. And say, that must be the Lord right now touching me right. Connect the dots. Come on, connect the dots. How many would rather get it sooner than later? Come on. And that's all that she did. I mean, she was believing for that. She came in here that the burning began and you just connected those dots yeah. without an x-ray. Yeah, I thought to myself, this must be happening because I haven't felt that pain That must long. be the Lord. Yes. That must be the Lord. Amen. I have a friend back in Pittsburgh. He said every time he sees lightning, he, he looks, he said, it must be, it might be the catching away. It must be the catching away. I said, every time you see, he said, every time I see lightning, I mean, this is it. You know, and I mean, you can get a little radical with that, but that's what we're supposed to be is radical. That's amazing. Glenn. Where are you from, young lady? Seminole, Texas. Seminole, Texas. Yes. You have a home church? Yes, we do. So you're here just for the meeting? Yes. Um, my husband came home at one o'clock and I said, we're going to make it. We have to make it by seven o'clock. And every he time He came home at one o'clock? Yes. And you have to make it by how long of a drive is it? It's six and a half hours. Oh! But he'd be worth speeding. How fast so. did you drive, lady? <laughs> <laughs> at times we did 90. Cause you I want, At times we did 90. We want to make it to... <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, she broke the law to get under a bigger law, right? Amen. Um, so you, you left at what time? 1.30? About 1.20 we left. Ma'am, you okay? Ma'am, did you check that for me again? Just tiny. Still tiny. Okay, that's good. That's Thank good. you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That scripture is Revelation 3.8. Amen. Okay? Amen. All right. okay. Thank you. This is amazing right here for Amen. you. Amen, yes. Yes, he's great. I came expecting and he showed it to me. Mm-hmm. Come on, give God a big praise for this precious lady. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're good? Yes, ma'am. What happened to you? I had surgery on my neck. On your leg? On my neck. On your neck? Back right before COVID started. Okay. And ever since after the surgery, I still have pain. Uh And I was hurting for looking up and praising God. Uh And the pain was there. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mighty, mighty touch, mighty touch. Mighty touch, mighty touch. Yes, ma'am. So, um, yesterday you gave a word and said um, somebody's um, memory is being healed. Uh huh. So, a um, couple of years ago, like, God would like, you know, talk to me and show me dreams and visions. Just move this testimony along quickly. And after some years, like when he shows me things and I wake up, I don't remember my dream. So yesterday I came here, I said, Lord, my memory needs healing. So yesterday you gave a word and said somebody's memory has been healed and I received it and I claimed it. And then when I went home at night in the dream, a minister came to me and took anointing oil and anointed my head. You did something extra. Yes. Uh-huh. So I got my deliverance in the dream when uh-huh. I got back home last night. And what happened? Did you have a dream yet or no, you didn't have? Yes, I did. And I remember. And you remembered the yes, dream. Yes. So my memory is restored. Come on, give God a shout. Give him a mighty shout. Yes. Help that lady up. Help this lady up. This lady's from California. We don't want to mistreat California. Come on. They're having enough trouble out there. There we go. Come on, man. Help her up. Hey, can I? I need another guy here. There we go. Whew, holy Ghost. My word, man. So that toe. So that toe. How's that it's toe? It's healed. Huh? It's going to be healed. I'm going to check it, but I know it is. You're going to take the bandage off? Yeah. Or what do you want to do? When do you want to do that? I'm going to take out. Go on. Take it go off. and take it off back there and come it. and show me the toe. Yeah, my shoulder. I could never. You couldn't what? Raise it up higher. Oh, I was like slain oh my. Yeah, it's on now. It's like, praise God. Thank you, Lord. And all because I've been watching you since January. You said your word <laughs> and healed. Come on, you. You know, I'll tell you what, this is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Come on, put your hands up all over the place. Say, tonight's my night. I don't know what number I am here or on the way home or waking up tomorrow morning. I'm going to get my special touch. Give God a big praise tonight. Can you do that quickly? You may be seated all over the place quickly, all over the place. Oh, I'll tell you what. Wasn't last night, as Pastor George said, wasn't that amazing? Yes. How, many, how many had trouble sleeping? Anybody? Did you kind of replay the meeting at all? Is she okay? Can she get up? Precious lady. She's crying. She's happy. She's happy. I can't get up. 
You can't get up. We need one more catcher, one more usher, please. One more usher. Yeah, we might need two more ushers. I don't know. <laughs> you can't stand. You're wobbly. Stay, stay close. Stay close, guys. Why would somebody not want to experience that? I don't understand that. You okay? Yes, I'm more than okay. <laughs> hey, last night, who, give me some people here that were touched last night in a special way. I want to hear, come on, stand up. Give me about a dozen quick ones, a dozen people, quickly, a dozen. Hurry, hurry, come to meet me right here. Hurry, hurry, quickly. Give me about a dozen people last night that were wonderfully touched in some way. Wonderfully touched. You know that God did an major thing over here. Yes, this lady here. This lady here. Yes. We're some of the men that were touched last night. My word. Come on. Yeah, here comes a guy here. Yes. Yes. How about that lady with the fibroids last night? Was she here? The lady. She's where? She's where? She's on the way. Give me that lady up there with the fibroids. Come up here, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, come on, get up here. Talk to me. You had these fibroids for how long? 22 years. 22 years. And they're gone. Yes. I said they're gone. So give me praise them. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the Word. I mean, that testimony is no longer just hers. It belongs to the whole kingdom. You know, that's, that's a great weapon in your war chest. It's not the only weapon, but it's a great weapon. Use it. Don't be ashamed of it. There's people that need to know that God still does this. And, and so you, this is going to change your life, right? Yes, it is. My life is changed already. Your life is already changed. Yes. One day, 24-hour turnaround. Yes, yes, yes. You tell anybody, did you call anybody yet? Uh, I told them to connect to the video. I've not you watched did what? it myself. I told them to connect to the <laughs> YouTube and watch it. YouTube? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've not watched it myself. You're what? I've not watched it myself. Last night's service, I didn't know what happened. I've not watched it. <laughs> Why don't you want to watch it? <laughs> I mean... I'll watch it. You're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the beginning. It's Amen. Just, it's Amen. just the beginning. It's just the beginning for you. It's just the beginning. Just the beginning. I want this girl right here. Come over, sweetheart. What happened to you last night? The Lord healed my back. Tell me. What was Eight the years of horrible pain. You called the word for after your third child excruciating oh. back pain yes and I came knowing that that was gonna be for me and when you called that out I just I just took off and just disc issues and lots of issues in my back and it, and, the, and the big difference is no pain yeah this can you morning, hardly I, believe that can you No. I mean I was able to bend over and pick something up without having to squat and push myself back up off my legs and Yes. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout. Somebody give God a shout, quickly. Yes, ma'am. My, te huh? my testimony mirrors hers, eight years. And after my third daughter, yeah. um, they had to, I have had all C-sections. Somebody sure you have rods put in your back. You have rods in your back. Some kind of surgical procedure with rods were put into your back. God's healing you right now. Where are you? Quickly, come to me, quickly. Where are you? Where are you in the audience with rods in the back? It's, quickly come to me, quick. It's, it's, they did this surgically to help your back. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Come quickly, don't be ashamed of this. Don't be ashamed of this. So tell, finish your story while, oh, while they so come. 
this time they had to put a needle in my back to numb. Oh you know. my. Okay. And um and it my back was never the same. I mean I just the pain was just immense. And I mean there was times I felt like some especially lately yeah. I've been getting up yeah. I felt like an old lady like you know you're just you, yeah. you're stiff. Yeah. And that was just gone yesterday. I was so grateful. Come on, somebody give God a shout out to you. Right here, quickly. Who else? Who's just the rods? You're the, with the rods in the back? Talk to me about this. Uh, I was in a car accident and uh, got paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And I've been in this chair ever since. How long has that been? It's about two years. Three years. Any feeling in your legs at all? No, but uh, it just comes, it's coming back. It's going to come back more tonight. Yes, sir. All right. Boy, if you're going to praise him, I want you to praise him. What's the matter with this place? What's the matter with this place? My God. Come on. You're the only one here. He called it. The master called it. And there's nobody else that's come up for that that I can see. That's pretty amazing. You're here with that? With the three rods on your tailbone. Come over here. Excuse me. There's another person right here. It took you a long time to get up here. Yes. Why? I don't know. I didn't know. The righteous what? The righteous <laughs> run and run. But get, respond quickly. It, Act like you really want what God's offering you tonight. I do, but it's on my tailbone. It's what? On my tailbone. I wasn't sure. Does it still hurt? Yes. It does? Check it. What? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> no. It's gone. Yeah. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody give him praise. Come on. I'm going to pray for you and God's going to move and touch you. Get ready. Yeah. Turn on, Holy Ghost. Move in his body, Master. Just, just create the, the spinal column, the fluid on the spinal column. Every part of that spinal column. Let feeling return into his whole body tonight. I mean, let his sensory perception, all parts of it, begin to be touched. Let there be a creative miracle right here, right now. We give you the praise. What's happening? I receive my healing, Lord. Woo! I receive it. Move those legs around for me. Move those legs. Come on, just move the legs. Give him some space over here. I, I don't, right over here. Put the chair right over here. Give him, I'm going to check with you all through the evening. Right over here in the front. Right in the front. Come on, ma'am. Are you guys together? You're together? How long have you had those rods? Two years, and also my legs were healed with uh, Pastor George's testimony. You were healed in the, in the morning service? Yesterday. In the morning service and tonight. You got two in two days. Yeah, That's but I'm not, not done. Fair. I'm not Come done. On, I need all we do. Run, 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 run. Go, lady. Just run. Go, go, go. Come on, get her. Amazing. She was healed in the Thursday morning teaching session with Pastor George and healed here tonight. So she's, her faith is primed. It's been, it's been shaken. It's been charged and challenged. You want, you want to continue to, when you're getting touched like this, make the most of this moment. That's why we're here. To get this, to, to get you, just to get the waters moving just so you can jump in and get what God has for you. Is that right? I want you to be, so the moment you begin to have feeling here, you call for me. Because that's what's going to happen here tonight, okay? Listen, any feeling there yet? Let me know. You better believe it. Can you yell and scream? Okay, I want to hear you tonight. The least little bit, okay? Amen. What a good guy. I can't wait to hear that tonight. What happened to you, ma'am, quickly? I've been diagnosed with a rare brain infection yeah. five years ago, given three to six months to live. I'm still here. Oh, my. Lesions all over the brain. Yeah. Doctors didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And I just felt like in my head, just pressure. And like a week prior, I was in the hospital. The left side of my body was completely weak. And wow. Now, not sure what was going on. And uh, my spiritual family from Sarasota uh, had a road trip planned and... We changed our travel to be able to come here, to be here, and uh, she was healed last night in her ear, and I've been healed from the lesions on the brain. Somebody make a new song! My God! What's the matter with this place? What's the matter? We gotta give it some praise! Come on! Wow! Thank you, Wow! Your name is higher! Come on, I'm telling you!
like a kind of weight and sensation around my head. Yeah. But as we were praying, I got you know uh, lifted. It's like a weight lifted up. It just came no, off. It just came off me. It's not there no more. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Where are you from? I'm from Russian, uh, Texas, near Houston. Amazing. Yes, do what God tells you to do. At this stage of your life, you're in a great season. Just obey Him. Get away from all the distractions. I mean, He's coming soon. What we're all going to do for the Lord, we better begin to do it. I'll tell you. We better begin to do it. Finish this work in this man, Master. Just finish the work. When the Holy Ghost, wow, come on, that's powerful. Come on, ma'am, here in the blue dress, what happened to you, quickly? I, I got my shoulders healed last night. Your shoulders, what yes. was wrong with them? I had a lot of tension in my shoulder blades, yeah. and I just could not, like when I wake up in the morning, it was just so sore, it was ridiculous. And um, one of the things that happened while I was sitting there yes. was when you said, you don't have to wait on a man, That's it, right. it just suddenly popped in my mind. Ah. Faith is real. I've had faith as long as I that's can amazing. remember that's just amazing. listening to Brother Copeland, oh, listening to you. Oh, that Holy it's Ghost, I'll real. tell you. That's right. She is real. Talk a little too much, you go down. That's all there is to it. You can't. What happened here, ma'am? Tell me what happened. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What happened? Strength. Stronger. Uh -huh. Bolder. But as I left here last night, I was shaking. Oh, okay. And by the time I got in the car, I was calmer. Okay. When I laid down in bed, yeah. I was trembling. And right. I just rebuke that and then I thought no that's the Lord working and then I laid there down there you go you gotta know the difference ma'am you gotta know the difference yeah I just laid down and went immediately there's tremors asleep. that are bad and there's tremors that are good mm -hmm. and those learn were good. the difference come on see all of us have to learn that we do yes. sometimes if we're not used to recognizing the anointing we think it's mm -hmm. something wrong yeah John fell down like he was dead some people had their heart burning within them mm-hmm Someone might think that's indigestion or something. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Learn to recognize the anointing on you. Whatever that, whatever that is that he does on you, learn to recognize God's working in me. You all know the different sounds in your house. Yeah. You know whenever that's just your furnace or that's something in your attic or, mm -hmm. you know, that's a pipe over here that needs... You, you know, we all know the sounds that's in our house. Learn your body. Mm -hmm. Learn your body. It's a great weapon to know that that's, that that's part of me. You know, and that's what the enemy's doing. And boy, there's that anointing. Learn that, okay? Mm -hmm. Precious lady right here. Wow. Come on, come on. Get this young guy. I remember you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So for those who were here yesterday, you guys saw. But if you're new, uh, I came up to Billy yesterday, and I was born with my foot turned out. And Jesus healed my foot yesterday and turned it inwards, and now it's straight. And my thigh is still Somebody adjusting to it. Stay with me. I just, this is such, it's such a blessing to, to know the king. You know, I was, uh, I had a, a dream with the Lord when I wasn't saved at 11 years old. And the thing I asked him before I got woken up is what's my purpose on, of, of my life? And I got woken up. I was standing right in front of him. This is my purpose, to serve Jesus, to be here. I got saved last year. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's so good. He's so faithful. Just my heart, my but heart. But the bones in your feet moved last night. They, what you my thigh is still adjusting because my whole life I was born not having my leg straight. So my thigh is literally still like, aching because it's not used to this new um this new position it's not i came out of my mother's womb with my foot inverted and you know i thought to myself you know when i get to heaven i have my glorified body it's all good jesus said no right now Whoa. What happened to you? 
No more cane. No more cane. That's, I didn't, oh. No more cane. And what were you What were you fighting before with, with the cane? I was fighting uh, the brain injury from the medication. The brain injury, and the, and you don't need it. No. All day today, no cane. All day last night and today. I left it here last night. And where do you go to church? Where do you go to church? Church 1132 in Allen, Texas. Uh huh. About an hour away. See, th these are great stories to take back to your church. I mean, one spark like this. You remember the old song? It only takes what? A spark to get a fire burning. How many remember that song? And a story like this, when her church sees her leave one way and come home another way. But the only thing I would say to you, when you tell your story, act a little bit excited about it. That's amazing. Isn't it amazing? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's, it's on the move. I've got my healing and I'm standing on it. Mm -hmm. And were you with somebody? You came yourself? With Lori. Lori. Which one's Lori now? Lori. She had the multiple, she was healed multiple of multiple myeloma. myeloma. How's she doing today? Right. Where's she at? More Lori, where are you at, Lori? She's in the back. There Why is she is. not up here with the healing? <laughs> Come on, Lori. Hurry up, Lori. We don't got all night. Come on, Lori. <laughs> She's the one with the multiple myeloma, right? Had multiple myeloma. Right. What's that? She took him out? Mm -hmm. Can you make it up here, Lori? Can you do that? She had, uh, this is multiple bone cancer, different. She was fighting that last night. And, and that was called out. So when that was called out, you thought, that's me. You're the only one that had it last night. Yes, sir. And what, how do you know that it's gone? What, what do you? I've had no pain, no, no pain. Any, I've been great today. We, and you're, you're used to pain with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I've, you know, I've had problems with the kidneys uh -huh. because of it. And I haven't even had to run to the bathroom every five minutes. So I'm just, I'm here. Usually when God comes in and does something like this, he don't stop with just with what you need. <laughs> Amen. He cleans Amen. up your living room, your den, your dining room, your kitchen. Come on. He cleans up the yard. by the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a big shot for that, quickly. That's a serious condition. Come on, what happened, ma'am? What happened? Well, last night you prayed for me and my knees are much better. I'm, I don't have to have Pastor John here hold me up and they're getting better. It's been about 15 years. 15 years? Yeah, and my scoliosis fights with it. But, okay. But, um, so you noticed all day today that your knees are really better? Yes. How much better? 80%, 90%? Uh, I'd say at least 60 to 70. 60 to 70%. Praise God. See, when you get into these percentages, you know, don't act like, well, that's only 60%. I mean, if I told you I'm going to give you a million dollars, but tonight I only have 600,000. <laughs> what, what would you say? Yeah. How happy would you be? Yeah. Often God will wait and see how you respond to what you did receive. So when it, whatever, whatever you receive tonight, that's, you want to get behind that and just... Be as excited and thankful as you can be. That's what, that's what opens up the heavens for more. When it says being faithful in the little, it means faithful in your praise. Faithful in your giving. With whatever portion you have. Okay? Amen? It's, it's wonderful. I'm so happy for you because that can be very painful, right? Indeed. Uh -huh. yeah, and how many I, years did you have that? Oh, at least 15 years, probably. 15 years. And I've been full of pain for a long time. Full of pain. You're not full of it any longer. Come on, somebody give God a big shout. What's going on here? What? 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 I've been feeding and feeding on the Word of God for, for months. 
uh, for the last 10, 11 years, uh, I had a doctor's overdose me. What's this here? It's an oxygen tank. Ox I took the, I took the, the, when did you the do cannula that? off. When did you About do that? About 30 minutes ago. I was sitting oh. And I took it off. I forgot. You said something and it just triggered. And I said, I'm already healed. I took it off. And I even brought this. I brought the pulse oximeter. You brought what? The pulse oximeter that checks my oxygen numbers. Cause so check it now. Can you check that, it? That's what it's doing right now. Those little lines have to move. In the meantime, what the other thing I was believing for yeah. is you. I got healed in, in 2018. I was here. You were here in February 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 110% COPD asthma completely yeah. gone. Yeah. I started working in ministry at my church. Yeah. And Where's that at? Where's your church at? Uh, I go to Open Door Church in Burleson, Texas. Okay. okay. But, but God's God's making some changes okay. in there already. Okay. Okay. It's 95 without without the oxygen. Ah! Just a minute. This just happened. This just happened. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. The other thing that happened. Yeah. Is oh, I guess my breath. He's right. You get out of shape. Out of shape. <laughs> Uh, Most had, people don't plan to go to church and run. They don't no. plan to do that. <laughs> At this church, yes. They and in the last 10, 11 years, I had two doctors that overdosed me on too much yeah. steroids. Okay. And trying to fix the yeah. COPD. Yeah. And so uh, the steroid levels are too much. Yeah. It messed up my neck. Man. I, and it was, look. I couldn't get healed. <laughs> the ankles kept spraining and re-spraining. This, they're fine. If you, hey. Rotator cuff. <laughs> if any of you are short on excitement, <laughs> she's got some leftovers for you here. <laughs> and the biggest. Is he Jesus is. your Lord? Is Jesus? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. love him? He's loved me. What's your favorite like Bible else. verse? What's your favorite Bible verse? Oh my God. I love First Thessalonians chapter 5. Okay. I love Hebrews 3, 6, huh. uh, 6, 3. That says that he's given us uh, two immutable forces, unchangeable forces. Just look at this. Uh, uh, listen to only, what's in her. Listen not to only his her. word. You can open up that word, that written word. You can pray in tongues and receive rainbow words but he said i didn't just give you my word when you said he fills you up with you he does he literally does touch every every fire i always tell him i love you with every fiber of my being i'm yours i mean no one's loved me like you have I've had two abusive marriages and i, don't want I didn't take to start preaching i just asked you your two <laughs> favorite verses but the other second thing there it says and i gave no, you she wants to preach all night I give you my oath okay. to keep that word. How Touch your Jesus. <laughs> Come on, give God a big shout. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Come on, we got to give him this praise in this place tonight. Yes. One God. One God. Tell me what's happened, sir. Tell me. I need a complete body restoration. <laughs> oh, did it already happen or not yet? No, not yet. Not yet. I, I've been trying for about three years to get to where you are. Okay. I, We're uh, together tonight. Right I here. have uh, 
basically, the x-rays and MRIs, they have a lot of arthritis in my spine. What are you hurting right now, sir? Spine. Well, if I walk very far, lower spine. What do you mean, how far is very far? Of course, the yard at home. Okay. I start across, and the further I go, the, the shorter I get. Because yes. Of, yeah. yeah. Is it hurting right now, though? Not right now. Not no. right now. Not right now. It doesn't hurt until I start trying to use it. the Holy Ghost on this man. Woo. Wow. Now walk for me. Just walk. He touched you. Just walk. Go this way. Go this way. Go down that aisle. Take him down that aisle. Just walk, sir. Don't even think about it. Don't get your mind on it. Just walk. Just go, sir. Go. Walk. What he's done for others. Come on. What he's done. He'll do for you. He'll do for you. Arms wide open. With arms wide open. He'll pardon you. He'll pardon you. It is no secret. It is no secret. What happened here? Last night, I shared a little bit. My legs are doing a lot better. Yeah, last night. Yeah. Okay. I, I came here for more than that, though. For okay. For complete healing and deliverance in my head. Okay. Stuff I've been fighting with for over 20 right, years. Right, right, right. And, um, and also for my heart. I'm coming. Okay. But my legs are doing a lot better. What's that mean, a lot better? No pain? No pain. I can walk around without stumbling around my apartment. Well, that's called healed. Uh, yeah. My, le my legs are healed. My uh, we will help I, I, you connect the dots. We will help you. Just in case you can't connect those dots, that's what we're going to do tonight. You hear me? I can see it really better. Okay, let me connect that dot. You're healed. Don't, don't, let, don't let something tell you that you're not if you are. Don't live in the past. Get in the now moment. Come on, say the now moment. Now. What's where, you coming after? Where are you going, ma'am? <laughs> you what? I'm coming for healing. What's the matter, ma'am? Parkinson's and glaucoma. Okay, okay. Are you, do you have tremors? Yes. How bad are they? The right hand and I also... Put them on my hands. Just put them on my hands. <sighs> where tremors? Well, Where'd they go? Huh? Is it gone? Well, I don't see them, do you? Well, no, not right now. <laughs> oh, oh my God! You better get excited! Oh, yeah. Go! Come on, somebody give God a big shot! Is that a miracle? I saw. Is that a miracle? Yes. The walking was a miracle, yes. How long have you had this? About three years. Uh-huh. You're going to be okay. Thank you. You're going to be you. okay. Thank you. The glaucoma too. It's what? The glaucoma too. Well, I didn't get that far yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> She wants those dots connected quickly. <laughs> That's right. Huh? I may not get back again. <laughs> Why not? Where are you from? San Antonio. Where? San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah, my daughter flew in from California. From California to drive you here? Well, to be with me while I went through this. Uh-huh. Amazing. 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 Come on, put both hands here again. Okay. Just peace. What do you think of this? I need you to catch a hold of this. The power's on her. Get her. The power's on her. No. You better give him a mighty God bless you. Come on. Who are you? Who are you? Come up here. Come up here. With arms wide open.
no secret. What God? What God can do? Now, as we're moving around up here, I don't want this to take away one second from you being in touch with what He's doing with you. Because then you leave another meeting and, you know, you don't get your portion. You don't need me to touch you. This is strong here. It's, I think we do have a holdover from last night. Listen to me. What? <laughs> what? You know, thank you for that. I don't know what this room would sound like if every single person gave God praise. If every single It is no secret, it is. That's okay. No, it, 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 it's just not normal. Okay, okay. Well, let's believe that just, you, you're going to be able to walk further. I will. Tonight, okay? I think. You believe that? The, the body will be restored, as, as Psalm 103 says it will. You got that scripture. It's good. You're in the right place, the I'm, right time. I'm, I'm What's your name? What's your first name? Daryl Miller. We're Darryl from Nebraska. From Nebraska. Oh. <laughs> I believe before you leave this meeting tonight, there won't be a trace of it. I'm hoping so. Amen. Then when I get home, I can bleep. It won't dim the lights in heaven if I get another heating or two. I don't, I don't think, think it no. will. I don't think it will. <laughs> I don't think it will. Incredible with that lady with the Parkinson's. What's going on here with this lady right here? I have melanoma. And, Skin cancer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What stage? And stage four. It went into my lung okay. and my brains. Okay. And then I took immunotherapy. Uh -huh. And it ate up my body and it ate up my thyroid. The therapy did? Or the, mm -hmm. the therapy? The therapy did. ate up my thyroid, my gut. I'm losing my hair. Okay. And there, no treatment, but okay. I've listened to you and Copeland mm -hmm. and you gave me peace. It's so good to have Kenneth and Gloria here tonight. I'll tell you. It is so good to have you guys here. It gave me peace when everybody else said I should be very upset. Yes. I had peace. Yes. But I came all the way from Scottsdale, Arizona okay. to come here tonight. So then mm -hmm. I brought my friends because uh -huh. I, I believe God healed me. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry, my faith, I, I feel like I just you're touching want, me. I just, I, I'm going to touch you, but I just want you to receive. There's nothing else you have to do. Just receive tonight. <laughs> when you pray, believe you've received. Who's your friend? Is this your friend in the white shirt, shirt here? Oh, come on. Come up here, ladies, all three of you, quickly. You're the drivers. Who's the drivers? We flew. You flew. Okay. Okay. From Scottsdale. <laughs> all three of you came here you, special. Well, w that's what we tried to be. We tried to be a blessing. All three of you, come on, every one of you, put your hands up. The power of God's on all, all of you. All of you. You're all leaving with something tonight. You came for her, but you're all, I need, I need workers here. I need workers here. Okay. Never turn your back. Never turn your back. Stay there. Just, just sit here. Just sit here a minute. Look at me. This fear's got to go. I see the fear. Believe tonight that what you came for, you've received, okay? It went all through you. It went all through you. That's the Holy Spirit. He doesn't lie. Okay? As fast as it was in your brain, it will leave your brain. Listen to me. Whatever effort you have to put into re receiving it, you may not be able to just casually watch television and the price is right or whatever you're watching. You may have to really get serious and get a, more, a little more radical in your approach. You know, the Bible's filled with radical behavior. 
Oh, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear. No. Some of you want a healing if it comes easy. And we're talking about tree climbers and roof rippers and, and people that left Jesus put spit and mud in their eyes. If I put spit and mud on your eyes tonight, would you be, be okay with that? Oh, come on. What's the matter with you? You'd be calling the newspapers tomorrow morning. Listen to me. You've got to get a, a little more radical than you are. You're trying to get a convenient healing. A drive-by deliverance. A take-out miracle. I, I get it. I mean, God's so good sometimes he does that, but there's sometimes he just wants to see more effort from each of us. Do you hear me? That those spiritual works, that the meditation, the confession, the, the searching, the worship. If you, don't, if you don't know how to worship, put a CD on and sing along with it. But get that climate change going on. I believe in that climate change. Come on, I believe in that one. You can change your climate. Jesus changed it with his words. He didn't have a praise team. He didn't have someone as great as David Ellis up here. No, he had, a, he, what did, how did he get into those negative places? He, he just began to speak the laws of the kingdom. Do that. That's what they've taught here for years. That's what, that's what Brother Copen has done. Pastor George, that's what they've done for all these years. But you got to do it. You just can't know it. You got to do it. It's the execution of it. Every day you release thousands of words out of your mouth. Every single day. And thoughts untold. And it's that media's job out there to get you thinking the wrong thing. Come on, got to break that fixation. Come on, say the fixation. fixation. Say it again, the fixation. That's why God, that's why God had uh, Naaman go into a dirty water. Because uh, don't take God long. See, he got his mind off his leprosy onto the dirty water. And that one little break gave God a chance to get in there and heal him. Because that fi- he had the wrong fo- It was broken. You can't just think about your illness all day long. You can't research it on the internet. Take that energy over and begin to think about what's God going to do? What's the promise say? How about that last prayer? How about that prophecy? How about that dream? Rehearse. What you rehearse becomes your reality. Come on, say amen. Amen. How are we doing? Anything here yet? Anything yet? You got some feeling. It's coming into your legs. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. on. What's the matter with this place? Hey. Yes. Yes. What happened here? You called on my my bicuspid valve in my heart. You called arrhythmia? Yes. I was, I, I was reaching out for you because I knew that I was going to get healed. Okay. And, and the Lord said, and you had called arrhythmia and high blood pressure. Right. And my husband doesn't know this. But Someone's <laughs> wearing a wrap, a Velcro wrap. Where are you with the wrap? Someone has a Velcro wrap on tonight. You're here in the audience. You're wearing a wrap underneath your clothes. Come on, you're here to get healed. Right here, the big guy with the blue shirt. Come on, man. What's going on here? Got a wrap on. Yeah, right here. What's wrong with, what's, what's the deal? Hernia. Hernia, how long have you had this? About three years. Can you feel the hernia? It doesn't hurt, but it protrudes, it doesn't look good, so I wear the wrap, it makes it look better, so, you know. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay. Remember, God will keep you for a season before you're healed. He didn't keep them from going in the furnace. He kept them. Then he delivered them. He kept Noah in the storm. Then he delivered them. He kept Daniel in the den. Then he delivered them. Come on, say the keeping power. power. God will sustain you for a reason. He's been sustaining a lot of you, but tonight he's brought you here to pick it up. He don't want to sustain you forever. He's sustaining you for a season. To what you continue to what? Feed the fire. Feed your faith. Choose him over the other stuff. Choose the good news over the bad news. The last thing you want to be is a carrier of bad news. Do you hear me? 
The least you should leave here tonight with is that you saw a woman healed of Parkinson's. You saw a lady healed of this. Carry good news. Until you can tell your own story, tell somebody else's. That's amazing. But I'd like you to wait, lay hands on my wife. Why? Well, I called you up here. What do you want me to touch your wife for? Well, I prefer that she get the healing. Which one's your wife? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? What's going on here? It's my knees. What happened to them? Arthritis. Uh, Are they hurting right now? No. It's a stiff. <laughs> they don't flex like they should. They don't hurt. What's a little twinge? T a twinge. Dear lady, I live with a twinge all the time. My word. <laughs> Come on, I want you, what's your name, sweetheart? Shirley. Shirley, put your hands up, Shirley. I'm going to touch you. The power's going to go all through you. The meniscus, both right. meniscus is in both of these knees. And the cartilages yes. are going to be touched by the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. It's going to feel like a fire going through you. Yes. This will be on you for three days. Yes. You're going to be fine. Yes. By that power of the Holy Spirit. Pow! I want to go. Come on, somebody! Because there's no meniscus, there's, oh. and it's being healed. It's healed now. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, no. So you had no meniscus at all? No, on either knee. I've had surgeries to remove them because of sports and stepping wrong off of a cliff. I mean, off a, off a cliff, off of a curb. <laughs> Excuse me. He's excited. Leave him alone. Yes, He's I'm excited. excited. <laughs> We've got, to, we've got to adjust our level of expectancy to match what's coming at us. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but bad news is increasing. And it's more intense. One day it's this and one day it's that. And I mean, it's just, it's meant to undermine our faith. I mean, this is the hour of the finest hour of the church to begin to expect what? New kneecaps. We had a lady in Pittsburgh, her toe was, they, the surgeon cut it, they had to cut it and they cut the toe right in half, the big toe. And after being in a meeting, she felt her toe growing. So she went, you know, was, she went back to the doctor and he said, how did you do this? Her toe grew back perfectly, all the tendons connected. One lady had no gallbladder and God grew a gallbladder. One no stomach and he grew a stomach. We've got to begin to believe these things and then we can't be ashamed to tell it. 
Some people need shocked. There is a shock value to miracles. I said there's a shock value to miracles. I was on an airplane and I was sitting on the aisle. A lady was in the middle and another girl on the side. And I was sitting there just really getting ready for the meeting of where I was going. You know, just minding my own business, you know, and just trying to enjoy a peaceful flight. And, I, and the lady started crying. Well, she's right next to me. Well, you know, I, I don't want anybody crying right next to me like that. And I said, I said, ma'am, are you okay? We want me to call a stewardess. She said, no, I, I need help. I said, well, ma'am, I'll call a stewardess. Let me get a hold of a stewardess. She said, see my daughter right here? And I looked over at the window, girl in the window. She's dying. She has this incurable cancer. We're on the way to the hospital to have some tests run on her. Well, I couldn't keep quiet. <laughs> David wasn't there to help me. I mean, this is, this is overload tonight with all the worship leaders and Kenneth and Gloria. We got a full force of the kingdom here tonight. Listen to me. All I did, I, I wasn't going to preach to her. I just said, hey, I said, just to let you know, I was healed of brain cancer many years ago and I was supposed to die. But I, she said, oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And, she grabbed her daughter, started shaking her daughter. She said, God brought us somebody. And she, she would lean back in the seat. She says, come on, hurry, preacher, touch my daughter. Yes, yes, yes. Well, here comes the stewardess. What's going on back here? This man had a miracle and he's going to touch my... The whole people all around, all the seats. There goes my peaceful flight to wherever I was headed. Listen to me. If you have a testimony, you have... A responsibility. Come on, you have a responsibility. Come on, you have a responsibility. They threatened the disciples, and what did they say? We can't but help. Speak about the things we've seen and heard. It didn't mean it happened to them, but they were exposed to it. So what we're being exposed here today, God expects you to get on social media. And not just tell people, I'm at Starbucks drinking coffee. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in Texas. I was at a meeting last night. Come on, somebody, help me here tonight. The evangelism of these end times, you don't even have to be in front of people. Just use whatever electronic means you have to tell people about what you're feeling, what you witnessed. You know? I mean, if somebody wants to talk about UFOs, let them talk about UFOs. Say, I had a UFO last night at Eagle Mountain. Come on, somebody. It came out of nowhere, hit me so fast, I don't know what it was. Open up the conversation. Be brave. Be bold for your God. Come on, give him a big shout tonight. Come on. Did you take that off? Yes, sir. Here it is. What's going on here with this? Well, this is, this is where it's protruding right here. Can you see that? I see it. Yeah. I see it. And this is why you wear yeah. that. Yeah, that's why Put I wear that. Put your hands that. high in the air. Well, one more thing okay. before we do that. Where's your wife at? Where'd she go? She's a, she went that way. I don't know where she went. She went. Where's, where's his wife at? <laughs> where? I think she went to the ladies' room. Oh, my. She's way in the back. I think she went to the ladies' room. <laughs> oh. Look at that crowd back there in the left corner. <laughs> oh, it's the... back there. Which one is you? Wave at me, the wife. How's your legs? What's that? Let her talk. I'm sorry? You what? You better give her a big God bless you, I'll tell you that. Holy, holy. Get ready to worship here. You're running all over the place here. Yes. I could not raise my knees up like you say, my meniscus. You couldn't do that before. And now look at this. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Yeah. They're burning some, but. And they're burning. I, I could not. 
most people see me hobbling around. Yeah. And that's a miracle. That's a miracle. <laughs> Look out there and tell them. Tell them it's a miracle. Tell them. It's a miracle. <laughs> I could not bring my knees up. To, I could not bring my knees up like this without almost falling. We get lost in all of this. We get caught up in it's the moment. It's a miracle. Look, listen to me. J-E-S-U-S. -S, Jesus. Yes. Come on, put your hands up and say, Jesus is here. Jesus. Come on, say, by his work on the cross. By his work on the cross. His finished work. His finished work. The blood. The, blood. the scourging. The, scourging. The, stripes. the stripes. The death and resurrection. Death and resurrection. He's doing it all. Come on, somebody. That's amazing. Tell you you is that last Look time, what happened because you brought your wife up here. Yes, oh, I'm, praise God. I'm very grateful for that. Yes. And praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But I want, want to tell you the last time you and I had a conversation about two years ago. Okay. I weighed 100 pounds more oh. men than I do now. Oh, my. Yeah. At that okay. time, I had uh, heart problems and I had also a pacemaker. And right. you, you uh, prophesied the pacemaker would be removed. I'm still standing on that. Okay. But the heart is much stronger. Okay. And I, you said to do the testimony, to give credit. So, that's right. So that's yes. what I'm doing. That's the only reason I'm stopping you to tell you that. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So yes. I'm uh, very grateful for the progress you're, you're, I made. You're, you're a good man. Well, thank you, sir. You're a very good man. And this put your, puts us against your chest. And Master, we thank you for the removal of this hernia. Lord, by the time he goes home tonight, let it begin to disappear. Let it begin to disappear by the Holy Ghost. Somebody give God a big, big shout. Come on. Give God a big, big shout. Come on. Give God a big, big shout. Yes. Come on. Right here. What happened here? What happened here? Quickly. What happened? She, she fell out of a zip line a couple weeks ago. And she fell where? Out of a zip line, out of a tree, and she fractured three vertebrae. She fell off of a zip line. That's when you hook up to a line and zip, right? Yeah. Wasn't hooked up because she was in the backyard. <laughs> Oh. And she fell and she landed and she has three compression fractures. Were they, were they hurt, honey? They're hurting now? Have you been to the doctor? Yeah. And they don't hurt? What happened? It went away? And tonight? It went away. She got healed. That was, that was Jesus that did that, right? Put your hands up. Come on. What's your name? Aubrey. Who? Aubrey. Aubrey. How about that? Put your hands up, Aubrey. Have you ever raised your hands like that before? There you go. Just say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I'm, grateful. I'm grateful. You took away my pain. You took away my pain. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. About the zip lines. About the zip lines. <laughs> Come on. Somebody give God a big, big shout. Come on. Get the, get the girl. Get the girl. Your name. Than any other. What's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, he got diagnosed with cancer. Uh -huh. Has a cracked vertebrae, uh -huh. and uh, his hips are out of line. Also, can he walk? No. What stage cancer is he in? What stage is this? Four. Four. I'm glad you're here tonight, sir. God can bring you back from this place. Four, three, two, one, zero, okay? Andre. Amen. Andre. Amen. Amen. Where are you from? Where are you guys all from? Crane, Missouri. Missouri. Yep. Okay. You made a long trip to get here. Last night. You felt last night. What happened? Oh, uh, no. In the first one, I told you. Yeah. My left shoulder don't have a calf on it. Don't have any. Well, your left shoulder don't have what? on it. You don't have a cap on the left shoulder. There's no... Okay, so that's all exposed, okay? Yeah, and they just saw that. But I didn't know I had cancer until about three weeks ago. Yeah. And then I learned it was diagnosed before. Yeah. But I saw God. How's those, you pay attention to those legs, how they're doing there. Better? They're getting better? Yes. Is that amazing or what? Yes, sir. Are you, have, are you somewhere near happy about this? Yes. You haven't had that before. I've just had um, spasms. And but now you've got feeling in there. They're spasming even more. 
They're yeah. more. They've increased. Yeah. Come on, somebody give the Lord a big praise here. Somebody give it. If they can try to move them. It's wonderful. And Master, we thank you for this man from the man from Missouri. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for touching him tonight. Let your power go all through him. Your resurrection power. Bring him back from the draws of death. Oh, Master, we give you praise. And you're the miracle worker here tonight. You're the healer here tonight for this man from Missouri. Touch him, touch him. Touch every part, every internal organ. Let there be cleansing stream of Calvary flow through him tonight. The cleansing stream of Calvary. All of you pray for the man from Missouri. Come on, pray for him tonight. Come on, sir, what's going on here? You, you were here with, what's the issue here, sir? Uh, my knee was tingling. Right. The, right. Right around it was uh -huh. tingling. Uh -huh. And uh, so it's stiff, but it's not hurting like it was. Well, that means what, sir? It's, I'm being healed. What does that mean? That means I'm being healed. It means you're a miracle in motion. That's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Somebody, some, oh my God. Yes, sir, what is this? For the past five years, I've been struggling with three brain conditions. Okay. Hearing loss, okay. vertigo, okay. and tinnitus. The okay. Doctors don't tinnitus. have a clue. Tinnitus. Tinnitus. Okay. You're ringing in the ears. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And the hearing loss. Okay. And the vertigo. Okay. The, the, the vertigo, the, the 20, it's 24 7. 7, 365. Uh -huh. And it, 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 it interferes with my. Of course. Any activity that requires. Is it any louder kind of in balance, the morning and louder at night? I, 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 I can't. I had to give up hiking, sailing, roller skating, okay. uh, ice okay. skating, anything When's that calls for any balance. I'm asking you a question. When is it the loudest, morning or night? Night. It's loudest at night. Yes. When you wake up, it's very soft. Yes, that's correct. Put your hands up. And they've checked your ears, haven't they? Yes. And they can't find anything. They've given me hearing aids, but the hearing aids do nothing. Yeah. The problem's your jaw. It's not your ears. It's what your, was that again? The problem is your jaw. I, I do have a jaw problem. I got a TMJ problem. Uh huh. <laughs> you can get happy here anytime you want. Anytime you want. That's the issue with your ears. The TNJ just, I just noticed it two days ago. That's, too, that's the whole thing here. It's not your ears at all. The older we get, the older we get, your jaw, your jaw shifts, it changes. If you did a wax configurement when you were younger and you do it as you age, your jaw bone actually changes. It shifts, it changes. And a lot of that shifting affects right where your, it meets your eustachian tubes in your ears. You don't have an ear problem at all. You're feeling better already. Well, I can tell you this, most people my, my hearing loss varies from person to person. Yeah. And the reason it's louder at night is because you talk all day. <laughs> okay. That's true. You use the muscles in here all day. You talk louder, so you and yeah, that's what brings the noise louder at night. That's why I ask him that question. When you're sleeping, I hope none of you are still talking. Come on, say amen. <laughs> so his, his jaw's relaxing. You understand? And that's why that's like that. You look befuddled. I, I am a little befuddled, yeah. You surprised me with the jaw. Well, I, I'm just asking you a simple question. Yes. Holy Ghost is zeroing in on you. And thank he God wants you for to that. get this miracle tonight. Yes. Put yes, your hands indeed. up. Put your yes, hands up. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes. Amazing this is. I think this is amazing for you. This is breakthrough night for you. It is indeed. <laughs> How's your hearing right now? Well, how's your hearing? Just answer me. It's better than it was a few minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, what's the matter? Amazing. By the Holy Ghost, we give God's pray for this. When I pull my fingers out, you're gonna hear better. Oh, the power's on, look at this. Look at this. 
It just hit him. Look at this. It just hit him strong. Oh my. That's amazing. Amazing. He's just right there. What's, who's he with? Anybody with this man? You are with him, ma'am? Huh? Can you come up here, sweetheart? What's your name? Terry, who are you? Uh, his wife. Okay, come on over here. Yeah. What? What do you think of this? Um, I, I was expected it. Um, okay. Last night you called Shingles and I came up and stood here all night. Uh -huh. And I, I know they're going to be gone. The little, the, I have some little, but anyway. He's been, he's been waiting for three, we were, we were going to come to the last meeting. We're from Washington State. Oh, we're going to uh, come to the last meeting. We finally made it to this one. He's and being healed right now. Yeah. Don't talk too oh, much. Uh, Don't talk too okay, much. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. Huh? <laughs> it is amazing, yes. Absolutely. Praise God. Come You can hear. Yes. It opened up. Yes. <laughs> you, you, you went from 25% to 80%. Oh, what's the matter with this crowd? Come on, your name, your name. Yes. Pick him up, pick him up. Amazing. Yes. You can hear me clear. I can hear you clearly. There's only one. What? There's only one. Don't person. you complain up here now. Go ahead. Would you I was going to say, but my hearing loss varies from person to person. Okay. The average is about 25%. Okay. That I can understand what they say. Okay. You went from 25% to 80% in the last few minutes. Okay. There's th but there's only been one person that I could actually understand everything he said. And <laughs> you're going to laugh. I was Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> My wife was a 50%. Zero. I would not say that again in public. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. She's right here. Okay, don't say that either, my God. Just... No, okay. I'm, t I'm waiting because this is still working all through your system. This is to bring you both closer to him. Oh, yeah. That's the number one thing the miracle should do is bring you closer to him and hungry for more knowledge of him. I got to find out more about this healer. I got to find out more about what I'm seeing here tonight. It should stir your spiritual hunger. 66 books, all testifying to the same thing. The Bible's not a book. It's a collection of many books. That's the miracle. Many books. Say that. Many books. Many books. In one book. In one book. All testifying to the same thing. Yes. Say, that's a miracle. Come on. That's Wow. Wow. What do you want to do, sir? I want to be completely healed from all of those things. Okay. What's left? Imbalance, dizziness. Are, well, you, dizzy, are you dizzy right now? Not at the moment, no. No, of course you're not. The, help this man connect the dots. Walk, just walk, walk. Walk. <laughs>
seen that. I've never seen that in my life. I, I've been in this over 40 years. I've never seen that. I couldn't. Five years ago, I used to do that sort of thing all the time to music. And you at, couldn't do at it. At home in my living room, you know, just, just playing. Yeah, but you couldn't But I do haven't it. been able to do it for the, the last five years. I, I would fall down if I tried to do that. hand up. Holy, 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 Lord God, Lord God Almighty. come on as we lift our hearts, as we lift our hearts, before you, as it's Capello, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. As we lift our hearts, as we Oh, the power, the power, the power. That's the Holy Ghost. All through this body. Oxygen through the body. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Arteries open, veins open. Arteries open. Token of our love. Holy, 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 holy. Come on, everyone, worship him, please. Holy, holy. This might be power. Power is the power. Jesus, David, precious.
Look who's here. Look who's here. We're so glad you have redeemed us. David, just a minute. Look who's here, David. How many remember this young lady here? You're still healed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody better give me praise. Amazing, isn't it? How many, how many years has it been? Three years. Three years. Right on this stage, right around here. Right here. Hashimoto's Jeez. in a wheelchair. Terrible. Dying. My husband was here with me. Mm -hmm. He was at the time, I hear. He was. And then six months later, we found out he was, had been in the Army. And so if you're in the Army as a man, you have twice as likely to, hit a, to get ALS. Uh-huh. And so he had ALS, but... I was able to take care of him for two and a half years. The best two and a half years of our marriage, of almost 32 years. And I have to say, my heart's been pretty broken mm -hmm. in the last six months. Mm -hmm. Just because, well, I just, I'm gonna be honest, we haven't found the, uh, the life insurance policy. And oh. I just kept saying to God, I know it's there. He was an insurance agent for heaven's sakes. He's not going to leave me like this. <laughs> and you know what God did? What? He sent me a letter that said we owed a policy payment. <laughs> he did. He sent me a letter and it said, you owe for this amount of money and whatever. And I thought, I'll just call the computer. I don't want to tell anybody he died, you know? Uh-huh. And it's coming forth. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that and saying that tonight, my heart has been healed. Because You're saying what now? my heart has been healed. Oh, wow. Well. Because Spirit. we were together for 33 years. Mm -hmm. And he, he was very supportive of you that night. Extremely and very supportive yeah. through everything. He helped me get yeah. through school, yeah. get my master's yeah. degree. I'm yeah. going after my doctorate now. Yeah. And the most exciting thing in the whole world, which I told you about, that my daughter was getting married. You remember? Yeah, I do. We're expecting a grandbaby. Oh! <laughs> One thing about when you have a loved one that has gone on, they're in your future. We think they're in our past. Memories are in our past, but they are in our future. And I held him. I held him. Mm -hmm. I dressed him. I fed him. I did everything, but I held him as he passed on to glory. Mm -hmm. How could you have done that in the condition? Exactly. I would have never been able to do anything to help him because he was helping me. And then it passed on and, and it was the most wonderful, Transition. happy years of our t being together because we had six months of total, hum home, uh, ha what do you call it? Honeymoon bliss. I don't know what to explain, how to explain it. But I got my body back and he was well and things were wonderful and... And you still have a great story to tell. And, and my story continues And now. a piano to play. And my piano is, is actually very out of tune because I've played it so much. <laughs> and, um, but I'm, I'm actually attending a church very close to my home uh -huh. and I love it and mm -hmm. they love me and we're gonna be a musician there and it's really exciting. Give her a big God bless you, come on. By the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a big shout. I mean, that's a glorious story. She still is. She's still healed. He went on. He's got the ultimate healing. 
He got the ultimate healing. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Okay. Huh? Who's with you? Is she with you? No, I'm not with you. You're not with this man? Oh, I I, get away from him then. Get away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Greg, come here. I want you to tell that story from last night, Pastor Greg. That's a great story. Listen to this story from last night. We found out. Do you have that on your phone? Good. Let me, let me pull it. It was kind of like a Joan Green. We had another one online. Okay. And what happened is at 6.50 last night, a woman went into labor in Fort Worth, Texas, Cook Children's Hospital. At about 10 is when we got the report that there were complications with the labor. Mm -hmm. And the sister of the woman who was delivering got online with us because she knew Miracles on the Mountain was coming and she asked the people to pray and our prayer teams, our went social media work. teams, went to, work. went to work. The baby suffocated. The baby and suffocated. Suffocated. The, the doctor had to break the baby's arm to birth the baby. Oh. Brain dead, no heartbeat. Oh. 18 minutes, no oh. heartbeat. Last report we had, heartbeat, baby's fine. doing here tonight, sir? How I'm you doing? I'm good. Huh? I'm good, but I want my total healing. Okay. I got a little bit of it. I didn't get it you all. got a little bit? I got a little bit, but I want it all. Okay. How much do you want? Parkinson's. Whole thing. You don't have any that, tremors? No, tremors left me. Tremors left? That's the part of the healing you got? Yeah. Okay, so what now are you facing with Parkinson's? What's the phase now? Uh, my speech. Don't, don't speak good. Uh, I'm going to tell you my humble opinion, okay? You look a lot better. You look a uh, lot better than you did whenever we first met. You're right. Yes. I yeah. think you're further down the road than you're saying. I hope so. You are. I can't. I can't drive. What can you do, though? You're not shaking. You lost the tremors. No, I'm not shaking. That's amazing. That's not supposed to be. You know, he has started this great work of healing in you. I can't smile. You can't smile? I have a hard time work smiling. You have a hard time smiling? My right side is, is, is I lost probably 30%. Well, I, I've never had to pray for anybody to smile. Well, We're going to start. To, there you are. You're smiling. I just saw it. I just saw it. With his power, come on, he has. Baby's mom is balanced. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, God wants you engaged in your own breakthrough. Either on the front end where you fill the water pots or on the back end where you're picking up the baskets, 12 baskets. Or somewhere in between, he wants you engaged. Do you understand that? I'm waiting on God. He's waiting on you to get engaged throughout the day. Don't wait for a meeting. I mean, how many, how many of you can sing when nobody's around? Let me see. Come on. I mean, you really, we really got to get engaged. Oh my, take communion at home. Do you hear me? Take communion. I mean, drink so much grape juice, you turn purple. Come on. I mean it. The Greek word for drink is guzzle. How can you guzzle a little cup? Come on, how can you guzzle a little cup? I'm so excited for you. I'm, I, this is the best I've ever seen you. I'm trying to get you happy about it. I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, huh? I'm healed. I'm healed well, that's the best thing you've said in the last 10 minutes. Oh, I feel better. Huh? I feel better. You feel better? I feel, I feel I'm healed. That's it. I know I'm healed. You know you're healed. Word of God. That's it. You have the right teaching. Yes. The more you say it, the more everything lines up. I say it that time, that time, that time, yeah. Because I need healing. Touch him, dear Jesus. Touch all the power of the Holy Ghost. He wants to be under that power. Yes. Right here. Who's next here? Quickly. Right here. Come on, ma'am. What happened? What happened here last night? We got a full night's sleep last night. A full night's sleep. For the first time in 30 days. Come over here. Come on over here. Tell us what happened. He's the one who had the lung surgery. He had the what? The lung surgery. The lung surgery because and of cancer said, was diagnosed yes, there. Yes, and he's had COPD for and years. And COPD. And so after his surgery, we've gotten no sleep. No sleep since Every the two hours. Every two he hours. He had to take some form of medication. Some form of medication every two hours. Well, that didn't make it not a happy night for you. No. He's been trying to, to do it all himself. Okay. But it wakes me. Tell me what happened last night. What happened, what happened? We went back to the hotel and just laid down and just went to sleep. Stayed asleep all night. Thank God. What's the matter with this crap? Come on, my God. Yes! That's amazing. No pain. It's a miracle. It's because no pain. No pain. No, no pain. pain. His pain no pain. has been gone. Well, let's go a step further. Let's take a little, let's go deeper, okay? You slept all night. Yes. And there's no pain. Yes. What should we say next? Yeah, praise God. Praise no, God. Cancer. Yeah. no cancer. No cancer. No cancer. No good. No cancer. Every symptom We're is leaving. For no Every cancer. symptom is leaving. Amen. I didn't tell you anything that was wrong with me. You didn't tell you what? Anything that was wrong with me. Okay. When I got up this morning, there were four things that were better. They were better, they okay. They were not gone, but they're better. Okay. And thank God, I'll take what I can get. Right. Where are you, where are you two from? Amarillo. 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 There's, there's just a presence on both of you. There's a presence on both of you. I'm just going to ask God to finish the work, okay? Just to finish the work. See, the one thing that has to be done, the reason that you see me walk away so quickly, it's not because I don't care. I'm not your healer. I, I walk away because you have to trust that he's doing that work. Whether it's a word or a touch, whatever, you have to, you, you, I, I can't do that for you. I have to do that for me. I mean, you've got to, your faith has to connect. By the time you leave this building, I got it. I'm going home with it. Just like at the grocery store, the moment it leaves the shelf into your carrier. Come on, somebody. And you take it to the checkout. I mean, that's your bread. Come on, that's your quart of milk. 
If somebody gets into your cart, where are you going to say, that's my quart of milk? I mean, you called it yours even before you pay for it. You got to do the same here. And it's already paid for. Come on, say, we got it. We got it. We got it. Come on. Somebody give God a shout out. Tell you. What's going on here? I wasn't going to come up because I thought it was kind of small. But yeah. For like a week and a half, I'd been having severe pain right. just right here. Right. And when we were praising, yeah. um, it went away. And then the Lord told me because I wasn't going to come up. Okay. That that was just the beginning of an overhaul. Okay. Beautiful. So, um, and I guess everybody needed to know that too, that nothing is too small. Nothing's too small. So that's healed. It's healed. That's exciting. It's healed. Are you excited? I am. And Who's this guy? Um, this is my baby baby. He's uh -huh. uh, my son Emilio. I would like to shake your hand, but I'm, I don't want to pass out, dude. <laughs> like, I don't want the Holy Ghost to like <laughs> Like, I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. That's the power. Hallelujah. He did anyhow. Hallelujah. What's this, sweetheart? Um, I was here yesterday. And? and uh, Hallelujah. It's one of the first days in about a year and a half that I haven't had a headache from... You were here yesterday for the first time. Yes. And it's the first what? First day in a year and a half that I haven't had a headache. I'm first time in a year and a half. I have a brain mass. You have a what? I have a brain mass in the left lobe of my... Now, let's, let's talk about this. She said she has a brain mass on the left side, right? But you didn't have a headache today. No. So we're going to change this conversation a little bit. You don't have. You had. Come on, so I used to have it. I used to have it. There's no sign of it. No. You got to get, it may take you a day or two or sometimes longer, but you got to get your faith lined up. You got to get things lined up so that, so that this can, the laws of faith can work for you. It's no respecter of persons, but he is a respecter of faith. Come on, let's get this lined up. Come on, let's line it up tonight. Let's line it up tonight. Amen. Is that right? This couple right here, you guys together? You're not, well, both of you come up here anyhow, both of you quickly. Put your hands up. This is, this is the beginning of a journey with Jesus for the rest of your life, okay? Put your hands up. Say, Jesus, Jesus. take over my life. Take over my take life. Take the steering wheel. Take the steering that's wheel. What, that's what Carrie said. Oh, the Holy Ghost on that. What's this right here? Quickly, what's going on here? I met her tonight. You, you, you met her tonight? Yes, sir. You're not married. Yes, sir. But you met her tonight. Oh, she's sitting next to me, yes, sir. Okay. Went to the bathroom. Your husband went to I'm the bathroom. I'm Tucker's mom. You're who? Tucker Campbell's mom. You're Tucker's mm -hmm. mother. Yeah. Put your hands up, both of you. It's interesting because when I looked at both of you, I see and I hear the words new season. I don't, I don't, it's not just a word. This is closure for the time where you've been. Closure. Because it hasn't been the best of times. The scriptures say seven bad years, but then the Bible says they had seven amazing years. You're coming into seven amazing years. Seven amazing years. Seven amazing years by the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. Come on. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Pastor Billy, um, the last time you were here, Yes. I was... Uh, Diagnosed with stage four cancer. Stage four cancer the last the time. lady, you get that banana to eat. I'm sorry, ma'am? You give me a banana to eat. Oh, you ate a banana? Yeah, after I haven't eaten for about two years. Okay. So I have a new outlook in life. And, um, you have a new outlook in life? Yes. Because? I'm alive now. 
You told me I wasn't gonna die. And you didn't. I, I didn't die. So. testify that I didn't die I believe the word um, I'm still having struggles okay I'm still being fed artificially you but I'm still being fed uh, artificially with you know TPN uh -huh. but all of a sudden my whole body changed I started looking normal I gained like 35 pounds and I'm up doing you, you know I'm up like your normal person. I'm going to connect the dots here one more time. <laughs> so the dots, I want you to help me connect the rest of the dots. I'm going to connect those dots for you. Oh! You know, I say this, but really, whenever you've had something for so long and you've battled, and especially if it's threatened your life, you know, sometimes you're, you know, you, you vacillate. We shouldn't, but sometimes you do. And so you've got to have faith added, strength added. And sometimes the journey can go a little longer than we want. I love the story of Joseph. It says in Psalm 105, he was in prison for 10 years, then two more years, 12 years. And right at the end, it says, the word of the Lord tried him. What's that mean? It says he was saying, Joseph, do you still believe me? After that many years of incarceration, do you still believe the dream? Do you still believe? And I'm saying that to all of you tonight. Are you still believing? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you still believing? Yes. There's a sciatica being healed. There's an L4 and an L5 being healed. We give God praise for that. Lumps on the breast are leaving. Lumps on the breast are leaving. Get out of your seat. Get up here in front of me quickly. Hurry up. Don't wait. We don't got much longer to go. Quickly. Holy Ghost, we give you praise. This is a great day for you. You told me all good things. Okay? All good things. By the Holy Ghost. All good things you told me. Come on. Give God a wonderful praise for that. Wonderful. What's going on here? Sciatica, yes. yes, and right before you called it out, the heat just went straight down my body. Oh, no. I had it for 50 years. 50 years! <laughs> 25 years ago, they removed a herniated disc, Whoa. and it's been more excruciating since then, but I'm healed. Oh, my God! Yes. And because he lives. Because he lives. I can face tomorrow. Come on, everybody, sing it. Because he lives. All fear. All fear.
Amen. I am so excited. I saw the x-ray. There was no cartilage on the inside of my right knee. I saw the x-ray myself. God took the pain while I was standing back there. Yesterday, I had to hold on to the pew, to the back of the seat, so I could just Here. get through worship. Yeah, last night, the pain's so constant. I've got cream in my purse that I have to put on it because it becomes excruciating. God took that pain out of here. He took it away. There was no warmth, there was no zap. He just did it out of his goodness because that's who he is. That's who he is. There's 20 percenters in here. You check yourself. You know your body. The Father's goodness is flowing through this room. Check your body. Check it. And because he What's going on here? Called L4L5. L4L5. And I said to God, I don't know what, what mine are called. <laughs> but they told me um, I had a bulging disc and something going on in my hip. And they said, it'll never, it'll never go away. And I said, yes, it will. I serve a Jesus that heals. So I've just never accepted it. And I've just followed the wisdom of the Holy Spirit in, yeah. in yeah. treating it. Yeah. And it's, it's mostly mostly healed um, but I'm just believing God for complete wholeness believe receive move yes. out of believing receive. into receiving receive. sometimes you just move out of believing into receiving if you get tired of hearing yourself saying I believe then switch over to I receive change pillows do something come on what do you do after you believe for so long you receive then what you keep receiving Get in the right position. Come on, hold your hands out. Get in the receiving position. That means an open heart, an open mind. It may be different than the way you prefer it to be. But just receive it. It's an amazing night. And we're not done yet. It's only 20 to 10. I think we got, we got time for a hundred more miracles. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Somebody! This is amazing. Like this girl right here, she's standing crying. These are stories that go real quick. We pray real quick. But well, listen to me. This is a lot of suffering in one room. And once again, I'm going to say it tonight. Giving this church, EMIC, the gratitude for allowing this kind of a meeting to take place. Come on, let's give it up for this. Pastor George, Pastor Terry, come on. Amazing. Pastor, thank you. Terry, thank you. Pastors, amazing. You, you okay with all this? Oh, yeah. Are you okay yeah. with it? Yeah, we're good. We're really good. Yeah. I keep we're hearing good. arteries open. I keep hearing it. I'm praying for people and I'm thinking of you and I'm hearing blood moving. I'm hearing blood moving through arteries. Hearing it. Hearing it. Hearing it. Arteries open. Say arteries open. Say it again. Mm. Amazing. You said last night that you had never given the word on scars. Yes. God gave me a word on scars. Okay. I had a season in my life that yeah. just changed. Yeah. And he told me when that change happened, uh -huh. all my scars would be erased. Okay. Real scars, you mean physical scars? Or I have physical about? scars uh -huh. in my eyes, uh -huh. my corneas. Mm -hmm. I have, I called it scars with, with God. You I know have, what I think is amazing about you? <laughs> How open you were to the Holy Spirit. Thank you. I'm sure you've got a story to tell, but that openness, keep it, okay? 
please, keep, please keep that openness to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Wow. Amazing. What's this? What, ma'am? My discs. Uh-huh. Um, all during the course of the night, both of my legs are numb. They are numb now? Um, they've been are they increasingly numb now? Are they better. numb now? Are they numb? No, they're not. Here we go, connecting more dots. We're going to call this the healing dot service. Come on, somebody. I'm serious. Part of your engagement is I'm connecting the disappearance of my symptoms. And it's not good or healthy for your faith walk to wait till the last symptoms removed. The moment there's a change, the moment your eyes are a little bit more clear, the moment you're feeling a little different in that chair you're sitting tonight, if I was you, I wouldn't wait another nanosecond. I would say, that does it for me. It's people, can, they get a pain right down here and they think it's cancer that quick. Or if it's their breast and their sister had that issue, that's in the family. We're so quick in the negative, so slow in the positive. Come on, people, let's speed it up. Come on, somebody. Let's speed it up. So what, you were telling me something about n numb, right? Well, evidently not. But <laughs> you're saying it's not there, so it's great to have some feeling. And there I, you and go. And I would love more feeling oh. in my legs so that I could actually have stability to walk long distances. But see, you're, but, um, this, is, this is such a transformation, right? This is like the 30-second turnaround here. Right. <laughs> right. It's it making is. a U-turn. You did it. Yes. Keep it up. Yes. This will be gone in no time. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Power. It just went all through her. It just went all through her. Yes, ma'am. Quickly. Um, what, what, what? They want... I refuse to think that I have cancer again. They're telling you that. Yes. Right? That's what the x-rays show. And they want to do stuff. And, okay. And I'm in a lot of where pain. Where do they say the cancer is? I, I have a lump right here. Right where? Right in this armpit. Where? And right in... Where is it? I, it's... it's <laughs> Listen to me. We honor doctors. We, they're studied in natural medicine. That's what their career is. They understand x-rays and blood tests. And if they see something, it's because it's there. But it doesn't mean it stays there. That's where the law of faith overtakes that. David said, David said he didn't say, I don't see a giant. He just says, I see a God that's bigger than you. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I still feel, I still feel it here. Ma'am, if you have to look that long Somebody better give God a shout. Come on. I said the Holy Ghost on that woman. Come on. Yes. That mighty power. It's the Holy Ghost right there. Amazing. Not yet. Not yet for this man. I'm waiting on this lady right here. This is amazing what we just saw.
<laughs> All fear is gone because Sir Hask, what are you doing here tonight, sir? Talk to me. 26 years I suffered from spine pain. 36 spine surgeries. 36 spine surgeries. And they reduced the pain some. Uh huh. But still walk around with pain, still uh -huh. on morphine. Uh huh. You're on morphine every yeah. day. Every day. Uh huh. Doesn't end. I'm I keep calling. It doesn't end. I call out to God. I call out to God. Okay. I call out to God. Okay. I believe him for my healing. Okay. I know he's going to heal me. Okay. And I'm patient waiting, but okay. I'm not waiting no longer. Did you come in here tonight hurting? Yes. Sir. Are you hurting now? Yes, sir. You're sure? Yes, sir. Check. Check. Check it. No, I'm hurting. I want you to check it. I, I have to move foot to foot. Move just foot to, keep, to Okay. That's just what do I whatever do. you have to do. Yeah. Still, sir. Yes. Just move over here. Just walk a little bit. Just walk a little bit. Just walk. Don't say nothing. Just walk. How are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Right? Yeah. Oh, my. We're not in Joe's garage. Come on, somebody. We're at a miracle healing service. Come on. Powerful. No pain. It's amazing. Yes, sir. Isn't that amazing? Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, it, we're so used to sometimes what? Getting prayer, expecting nothing. And, and, and we, 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 we salute ourselves because of the fact that we got prayer. Whenever God says, no, I want you to expect. We, we, we got to quit going home without giving the best expectation that we can. And sometimes it takes different preparation to do that. Jesus had to stay back, what, four days to get ready to raise a dead man. He hadn't done that before, so he had to get ready for that. And it was his cousin, so his emotions were involved. Sometimes you've got to take time out, turn the TV off, turn your computer off. And do like Hezekiah, put your face to the wall. And say, Master, talk to me. Open, put your Bible right there and say, where do you want me to read today? Show me something. Be a diligent, a person of diligence. The Bible don't say the good looking or the pretty or the smartest rule. It says what? The diligent will bear rule. Come on, put your hands up and say, I got to get diligent. Come on. The diligent man, the diligent woman is the one that bears rule. There's a lot of things out there that distract you. Every day, it, it, the devil's after your time. Only so many minutes, so many hours in the day. I know you all know that. I'm just trying to help you. That's amazing. Isn't this amazing? Yes, sir. This got turned around in a couple of seconds. Yes, sir. Isn't that amazing? Yes, sir. I'm as amazed as you are. Yes. Sir. Do you want to run? What do you want to do? Do you feel like running? No. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
If you like moving fast, moving, walking fast, just try fast. Let's try walking fast. Just get moving. Just get moving like you're... Can't fight a full-time devil, part-time Christian. Can't fight a full-time devil, part-time Christian. What's your name, sir? Marks. Who? Marks. What's your first name? Marks. Oh, Mark? M-A-R-X. M-A-R-X is your first name. What's your last name? Right. Rose. Where are you from? Spokane, Washington. Spokane. Yes. Came a long way. Sir. Was it worth it? Sir, yes it is. Mm -hmm. mm. Amazing. Amazing. They told Bartimaeus to shut up. I said, what did he do? Screamed louder. Turn him to turn it off, and God said, turn it up. I'm telling you, we have to turn it up in these days. Everyone in this room is needed greatly. I mean, your exposure to a place like this, Revival Capital... The teaching here, what you've seen here tonight, last night. We're accountable for that. We just can't let things bypass. I saw this. I heard this. This happened to me. This just happened to you. What do you think of that? You have to be somewhat spellbound by this. God is great. What are you feeling right now? What are you sensing? Huh? Just joy. Just that it's over. That it's. I don't have to take morphine constantly. Wait. Wait, tell him what you just said. You don't what? You don't. I don't have to take morphine constantly. I came here with only just enough medication to get me here oh. to this service. That's all I brought. If you're driving home tonight and you see some limping along the highway, it's the devil with two broken legs. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Wow. There's an old song that says, they baptized old Jesse Taylor. You know that, Becky? They baptized old Jesse Taylor in Cedar Creek one Sunday, and the devil lost a mighty right hand. It's true. Every one of you, every one of you that escapes is such a story. You carry such power. More than you know. More than you know. I loved how this happened. I'm glad we all saw how this happened. It doesn't have to be in any uniform kind of a way. Some of you tonight on the way home are going to get healed on the way home. Some of you watching by internet tonight, you're, you're watching from all over the world, I need you to call that number on the screen. Call in, tell us how God has touched you mightily watching on the internet tonight. We really want to hear those praise reports. We really, really do. You look somewhat shocked. I don't know how to... Dis yes. <laughs> I've been to many meetings and been to many uh, healing meetings and many...
preachers have prayed for me and with me, and uh, but uh, I well, seem to struggle with this issue. Okay. Of well, every every pain. hit of the tree counts. Yes, sir. Agreed. The ground was just softened tonight because of everywhere you've been. Yes, sir. We all work together, right? Yes, sir. Come on, let's give God a big, big shout. Come on. What's happening here? Two years ago, God. Huh? Told, two years ago, God told me he was going to bless me with a son, uh -huh. and here he is. Um, he's being diagnosed with trisomy 21. With what? With trisomy 21. What's that? Uh, it's a genetic disorder. Okay. And he has an extra chromosome. Extra chromosome. And then he's also been diagnosed with a partial AV canal. The heart didn't completely uh -huh. develop, so he has two holes in the upper chamber, and uh, the valve didn't is. is abnormal mm -hmm. and so the doctors are saying he's going to have to have surgery mm -hmm. I'm believing that God's going to close up those holes in his heart repair that valve and remove that extra chromosome without surgery and what's the baby's name his name is Elion it means God responded Elion yes, Elion what a cute baby what a cute baby and this is the, this, uh, this is the boy yes sir okay and you just look so happy mom you look yes. so happy <laughs> It took a long time to get here. What do you mean a long time to get here? Um, this is my miracle baby. Mm -hmm. I had him at 44. Uh, at 44 years old you were? Oh, you're, you're 44 now? Yes. Yeah. He was in the NICU for a month. He was where? In the NICU for a month. Uh-huh. Well, you have him. You're holding I, him. Mm -hmm. So I know the Lord has been answering our prayers. Mm -hmm. And it's just... Um, we go to medical appointments. That's why we're here, because mm -hmm. we came to Fort Worth for a medical appointment. Mm -hmm. So, because he also needs a cranial helmet, but he does. He's not. He needs wearing a cranial it. helmet. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't like it, so he's not wearing it tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to shape his head. So. Amazing. Master, touch this baby tonight. And break the curse off of the baby. Let every missing part be restored. We just thank you, Jesus, for this miracle, miracle baby. They came all this way. They came in faith. And as the husband has said, he's expecting everything to be restored. Come on, say, we agree with him. Come on. By the Holy Ghost, we give God a big shout, big prayer. Oh, there's the husband there. Oh, my, the power. Wow. Wow. Hold the lid. Don't let her fall. Don't let her fall. That's, that's right. The baby wants to fall, but not her. We're, we're almost done here, really. Tell me what's happening with you, young guy. Uh, um, I've had diabetes for three years, and I want to be healed. Type 1 or 2? Type 1. Type 1. So you were born with this? Uh, no. no? I, got, I had it when I was 10. Uh -huh. I got diagnosed. Uh huh. So you take a shot every day? Yes, how I have How many not, shots? Uh, it depends on how much I eat. How much you eat. So if you eat a lot, you have to take a lot of shots. Yes. Like, do you ever take five shots? Uh, yes. Six? Probably not. No, five shots you've taken. Where do you take it? In your arm? I take it mostly in my stomach. So and you just stick five shots in there? But I do it different sides. Okay. No. You're used to doing that? Yes. You'd rather get healed? Yes. Where are you from? Um, from here. Is this your church? Yes, sir. Promise me you'll get back to the church after you realize you don't have to do that. Yes, sir. Okay. How would you know? You have to take a test, right? Uh, yes, sir. Did you take a test before you came in here tonight? No, sir. Do you have your little kit with you? Uh, back at my seat. It's back at your seat. So what was your what was your count when you came in? Um, like my blood sugar? Yeah. Oh, I have it on my thing. Right okay. Now. It says I'm at a 321. So. 321. So what's that? That's high. That's high. So what would you like it to be? Um... I've been talking to God, and I told him that when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to be at a 135, and that's how I know I'll be healed. 135. <laughs> the normal would be what? Normal? Like 1 to 150. 150 is normal, and you're at 320. Yeah. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I don't know what's going on around here tonight, but I'll tell you what. I think God's in the house. How many believe that? Amazing. Amazing. This is my story. Come on, let's sing. This is, this is my story. This, this is, is my song. Praising my, my Savior all the day long. This is, this is my song. This, this is, is my story. This, this is, 
Before. Look at that toe. Where are my girls? Look at the toe. I can't take it off, but you want to take that off? If you want to can someone take that off for her? Just the, the they can get a camera on that. And it, it was All you need is red. No, oh, you reason that uh, red toe polish on there, and you're 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 well, good to they go. Wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let you. The three doctors no, wouldn't let me. What do you but think of that? I think it's great. I'm going swimming. <laughs> I'm unable to go to my daughter's pool, and they made me stay in bed, my girls, and fed me good. Praising <laughs> and my... And I worked. <laughs> Thank all you, Lord. the Thank day you. long. You're a good woman. You're a good woman. You're all the way from somewhere. I forget where. Uh, California. Now, now we're in Richmond, Texas. We hope you come there to Houston. If you do, let us know. Okay. Can you pray for my two girls? Where are they at? Come on, two girls. These are your daughters? <laughs> yes. They brought me here. So what's going on here? You're, you're with, this is your mother. Yeah, she's our mom. So talk to me. She wants, she, she feels you both need prayer. <laughs> I do, definitely. My neck has been hurting for ten, like For ten how long? Year, 10 years, but. Your neck's been that, like that for how long? 10. And right now? Um, actually, a lady back there was praying for me and it's starting to feel warmer. Awesome. And, yeah. But is it hurting right now? Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Let's connect these dots. And I'm also uh, deaf in this You're area. deaf? How deaf are you? Uh, one side, completely with tinnitus. You're completely deaf where? This side. You're completely deaf there? Could you excuse me a minute? You're completely deaf. Why? How'd you go deaf? Uh, they don't know. They don't know. We break the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. We break that power. I'm going to break this. You're going to be able to hear. You're going to be able to hear any second. Any second. Be loosed. You hear that? How about that? Are you happy with that? That's great. That was so quick. Yeah. yeah. It still feels a... Do I want, heard do, the Do you want to test it some more? Do you want to test it yeah. some more? Close this here. Say hello. 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 I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praising my Savior. This is my story. It's a mouth of power on you right there. Praising my Savior all the day long. Come on. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. What's this man? Uh, my husband. Yes. And he has dementia. Uh-huh. Dementia. Uh -huh. Confusion. You don't that. remember having dementia. No. Okay. He usually doesn't think there's anything he wrong. He doesn't think there's anything he wrong. He just came because I asked him to. He came because he loves you. That's why. We've, he, he does. And thank you for sticking by him. We've been to. Thank like, you for sticking by him. So, what's your wife's name? Let's see. Oh, yeah, Patricia. <laughs> That's your name, right? Pat, yeah. Patty. 
Okay. How long have you been married? How many years? I was talking to him. Sorry. Yeah. I usually have to do more. That's changing. Well, but she's very good at talking. So it's... <laughs> I know, but I, I need you to really help me here, okay? Because this is, you can't, when you're praying for people, you can't see them the same. You can't say one prayer and then still see them the same. You have to see them the way you're praying. And even though it may not be real to you at the moment, you surely can't convey that to them. That's how faith works. The faith walk is not for weak people. You know, unless you're resting in him. I mean, I understand that, but there's a, Mark 10, 27 says that all, with God, all things. Come on, say all things. All things. Are possible. Are possible. Amen. God is with me. What's that? I shall not fear, for God is with me. There you go. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. No weapon formed shall prosper. Amen. <laughs> How about as your day, so shall your strength be? Deuteronomy 33, 25. As your days, so shall your strength be. Spiritually, mentally, physically. There's never a wasted moment in the anointing. Never a wasted moment. This anointing is confronting all night tonight when you leave here tomorrow morning. This anointing is going home with you. It's going to confront things in you. It's going to confront your food portion, what you're watching. It's going to confront who you're hanging with, what you're doing in your spare time. It's one thing to want from God. It's another thing to help him. You're either helping the devil or you're helping God. Quit helping the devil. Help God. Become a partner with the Holy Spirit. Wake up tomorrow morning and say, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to eat today? How much? Where do you want me to read my Bible today? How about this one? You ready? Who do you want me to forgive today? Here's a better one. Who do you want me to give some money to today? Oh, you're, I'm losing the crowd. I'm losing the crowd. They're disappearing. They're disappearing. I love you both. I love you both. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Touch them both. Touch them both. Touch them both. Touch them both. That's the power on the woman. Thank you, Lord. What's going on with the little girl? We're almost done. Little girl. She's fighting uh, deafness and muteness. Deafness? She's deaf? Yes. Both ears? Both ears. Oh, my. She's too cute to be deaf in both ears. Come over here, little girl. Oh, my. What's her name? Zoe. Who? Zoe. Zoe? Yes. That's the word for the life of God, right? Yes. That's correct. So her name is Zoe, and so she can't hear anything. That's correct. Does she have any? I, I don't want to touch her hair. Can you pull her hair back? Does she have anything in her ears? No, no. no. What's her diagnosis? Can you tell me? So, uh, inner hair cells. Uh, What's it? So the interconnection between the ears and the brain. Interconnection between the? Her ears and her brain. Ears and the brain. The inner hair cells aren't functioning. Uh-huh. And so you've tested her hearing and she can't hear anything? Yes. yes. And where are you from, sir? So I'm, I'm from Richardson. From where? Richardson. Uh, D Richardson, Texas. That's not far away, right? Yes, that's. How'd you hear about the meeting? Uh, one of our uh, pastors, uh, in fact, from a small group at Covenant Church, mm -hmm. he told us about this. We getting any calls, Greg, on this tonight? Any any calls coming in here tonight? That's. Yes, there are people getting saved. Getting saved. They're just saying, Jesus saved me. <laughs> right and left. Come yes, yes, on over here. Come yes. on over here. By the Holy Spirit, we break the deaf and the dumb spirit. We break his power. We break the deaf and the dumb spirit. From the mother's womb, we break it. From the mother's womb, do we break this. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
She's thinking, don't ever let me see that man again the rest of my life. <laughs> let me see something here. Let me see if I can test this. Oh. I really did it for her, probably. Can you test your dad a little bit? Can you do something you can do? Because I don't want to scare her anymore. Zoe. Zoe. You know what? Maybe take her somewhere private real quick. Can you find a private spot in the, in the before we close? I'll have you come up, okay? I don't want to embarrass her any more than we already have. Amen. Let's come on. Let's give God a big shout. Come on all over this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just softly howl. Singing hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What's going on here, sweetheart? Well, when I was sitting there during the worship, right? I just began to feel a lot of heat oh my. coming over me and I just felt like mm. I've come for healing I've uh -huh. been expecting healing for a right. long time and right. and I was like well it's not all the things and then I was listening to the words you were saying and it's like I I just felt the Holy Spirit just say get up there mm. and give him the glory for what he's already doing what has he done I just feel pain beginning oh. to go you feel the pain cycle breaking breaking it's like starting from the top of my head but it's kind of stopped <laughs> midway so far <laughs> there's a lupus being healed someone here with lupus tonight's being wonderfully healed as well lupus where are you hurry come before we, before we close these meeting tonight don't wait there's a lupus in the room such pain with the lupus holy ghost we thank you i'm waiting i'm waiting no, is that you ma'am with the lupus lupus quickly were they coming are they coming they're bringing the woman with lupus. Bring her. She's coming. I think she has a hat on. Yep, she's got a hat on. Oh, my. Stay right here, ma'am. I'm not done with you. Lupus, ma'am. I'm glad you didn't leave yet. How long have you had this? Many years. Many years. Are you with her? Yes. Who, who, we got? who are you? Richard, her husband. Her husband. She's had lupus. She has, yes. It's very painful. Lots of it. What made you come to this meeting tonight? Um, so I could hmm? claim my healing. So I, could, so I could get healed. And where are you guys from? Ohio. You came a long way. Yeah. I don't like being in the camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to put this all over the world. <laughs> Only if you let us. Only if you let us. Think about this. The meeting's coming to an end, and that word is called out not all evening, not last night, I know. but tonight at the very end. I know. And I, I think you're the only one up here with lupus. I think, fighting lupus. So, what's that say? God is good. It, it means he thinks you're very <laughs> special. Oh. Where do you hurt right now? Everywhere. No, right now. Here. Where? Well. What? I don't know. <laughs> Who was there? This is my story. This is. I can move.
Give them time. They're trying to find the lupus. Give them time. It may be rolling back your way somewhere. What do you think of this? God is good. Yeah. What do you think of it, husband? Fantastic. <laughs> we have to sing Your Name is Higher. Come on, Your Name is Higher. Just go, David. Uh, your name is higher. What is it now? Uh, I was at a 321, now I'm at a 314. It's dropping. His account is dropping! Oh, so my brother, he has the same thing as me. Huh? My brother has the same thing as me. Your He's brother has what? The same thing, like, I used to have. You're the brother of him? He's, He's trying to get you in on the healing deal. Yeah. Come on over here. I'm trying to get on the healing deal. How often are you going to check that? Are you going to check it again? Uh, every 15 minutes. Well, how long more before you check it? I uh, think uh, five more. Okay, I want to know. Okay, I want to see this thing drop some more. Put your hands up. Master the same thing for the brother. It's a generational curse that be broken over the family. Tonight. Let it drop tonight, too. Come on. Danania. Oh, holy God. Your mighty name. Your name is Jesus. Uh, your name is one. Your name is higher than any other. Than any other. Your name. Your name is Jesus. Yeah. And what happened? What happened? Like on twenty second. Where's it at now? I don't know because I didn't have any symptoms. So. But where's the lump at? It, it was in both my breasts. It's, they it's diagnosed it for benign calcifications, uh -huh. and they are suspecting for malignancy of neoplasm in my both the breast left and right. Ma'am, they're not going to even be yeah, here. How you, about that? Yes, sir. Your yes, name is Lord. Oh, oh. Yesterday, you know, I'm on dialysis. I'm on dialysis, and uh, I want kidney. This is give me kidney. This is because uh, you know God said I send it through, uh, sends it through you. You know. Let's grow a kidney. Let's grow a new kidney. Yes. Yes. I say it. Yes. I'm... I said it. Come on, somebody. Yes. Come on, your name. But I. Causing my head to That's hurt, my hands to go numb, and he touch. healed me while I was here. That's, he healed you tonight. That's beautiful. He healed her tonight. Touch him by the Holy Ghost. Touch him. What are you doing? I touched you. I prayed for you. What are you doing? I prayed for you. Why do you pray for me? Well, because you're with her. There's a little man. Who? What's that? Sit back here. Who's this? Just the man that was sitting next to him. Okay. He's your son. Thanks for bringing him. I've been you praying for healing. Well, yeah, he's, he's in the right place. I know he's God been in this atmosphere all night. Yes. Don't discount him being in this atmosphere all night. All right. All right. This is wall to wall Holy Ghost. Come on, say it. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Help that lady up. Help her up. I'm telling you, we're closing any second. That's what I said an hour ago, right? Your name is higher. Come on, Dad.
we doing? Huh? How are we doing? Good. You came under the, up from under the power. What's, yes. what's... Yes. I'm feeling good. You're <laughs> feeling <level>. good. Yes. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Give it all to her, Jesus. Give it all to her. Give it all to her. You're going to spend more time in the secret place. Psalm 91.1. He that dwelleth in the secret place shall abide under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, and I will say of the Lord, He is my strength. That's for you. Get into that secret place. That means you don't tell everybody what God's telling you. It means you just... It's between you and Him only. You don't share anything. That's what it means. Right? That's what it means. You on the front row have a high responsibility. You know that. People want these seats. You know that. To tell everybody what you've seen. You saw it close up. Is that right? Is that right? What's going on, man? Come on, friend. Come on. What's going on here? Talk to me. What's going on? I was starting to get better. I had a lot of allergies the past couple of days. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to clear up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put your hands up. We thank you, dear Jesus. In your life, you thought you were going to go one way, but God's going to take you another way. There's a change of directions coming here. Don't be afraid of it. When you see yourself one way, God sees yourself another way. There's a fork in the road. One way has grace built into it. The other way, you have to pipe the grace in. Go the way that the grace is built in by the Holy Ghost. Wow. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. How are we doing, sir? How are we doing here? How are we doing? Better? It's just spasms. Huh? It's more spasms. You're getting more and more. Yes. That means that master's touched you. Yes, he has. I want you to call into the church. I want to hear about this, okay? Yes, sir. We're standing with you. Yes, sir. Come on, give this young man a big God bless you. Come on. What's going on here, young guy? You what? Um, Mom, can you tell? He was diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome. And Tourette's. Also di uh, Dissociative dis right. disorder. Right. Where are you from? Where are you from? Or from Fort Worth. Right from Fort Worth. Just moved down to, from Illinois. You just moved down from where? Illinois. So to this attend is the, this church. To, to attend this church. Yes. Boy, I'll tell you what. You picked the right spot. We did. We did. So glad you're here tonight, young man. What's your name? Uh, the Kobe. The Kobe. The Kobe. Huh? I'm going to pray for you, Jacoby, and this is going to break off of you tonight. I'm really excited about having wheat. You're what? Wheat again. He's not able to eat wheat right now. He's not he, able to eat wheat. Yes, and he loves wheat. Well, that's wheat. a blessing. I know, but that's... <laughs> we're trying to get off of wheat, and he's trying to get on wheat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, touch this young boy. I pray the power of the Holy Ghost. Break every curse. Oh my, there's the power. Look at that. Let him go. Oh my word. It's just, the power just hit him. Amazing! Amazing! You okay, ma'am? You doing all right? What's the matter? I, they told me I've got angular closure and I'm going, I've about lost all of my sight in my left eye. My right eye's going and my husband says it's because oh, of Oh, just slow down. Just slow down with your husband says. Slow down. Just slow down. You're talking too much. Just slow down. You're just talking the wrong stuff. Jesus. Just because your mouth is moving don't mean it's saying the right stuff. What's Ecclesiastes say? You fill the air with words. The wrong words. You're going to see, okay? You're going to see. Your eyes are going to be okay. Power the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Who's with her? Who's with her? Anybody with her? Come on, sir. Hurry up. Who are you with her? You're the who? You're the husband. Just stand right here a minute. I might need you. Just stand right here. What's her name? Bernetta. Bernetta. Hey, Bernetta, that's the Holy Ghost all over you, Bernetta. You hear me? Bernetta, do you hear me? There's a lot of... There's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, I know, I know. 
she's had a lot of abuse, a lot of mistreatment. Yeah, she's used to it. No more of this is going to happen to you, okay? God's going to put a shield around you. You hear me? He's going to put a shield around you. He's going to put a hedge of thorns. That's what Hosea said, a hedge of thorns around you. They that reach in to hurt you will be hurt themselves. Let's pick her up. Come on. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Why are you going on light? Open up those eyes. Wow. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You that couple here to me. I want to talk to them. What do you think of this, my sweetheart? What do you think? Well, it's better. Yeah, that's good. It's better. Yeah, and it'll get even better and better. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Look at me. Your job is to protect her, right? I do. Yes, ma'am. Just keep her from any of those people, whoever this is. They're more in danger than she is from what I just heard over there tonight. So just do your best to protect her. Okay. It's got diabetes. Let's, I ain't worried the about end. that. I ain't yeah. worried about that. This is the blood pressure issue. This is, uh, this, this is an explosion of a nervous condition from mistreatment. From mistreatment. Pretty amazing, I'll tell you. Come on, put your hands up, young lady. Put your hands up. Come on, say, dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. I'm a daughter of God. I'm a daughter of God. I'm born again. I'm born again. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Come on, somebody Thank give God a shot. Amazing. I'm waiting till they all come. I'm waiting. They're still coming from over there. Heaven is real. There is a real place on the other side of invisible. We don't live in heaven. We live on the new earth. Heaven's temporary. If you should die before the rapture, you, you go to heaven. But we all come back. The city comes out. The city sits down on the fertile crescent over and right around right around where Iran is. <laughs> it just sits right down Iraq, Iran, over there where the Garden of Eden used to be. That's where the holy city sits. And we live on the new earth.
But to get there, it doesn't matter necessarily what church you go to. It matters what you believe. And have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? I mean, when the rapture happens, there ain't going to be no time to think. And like the building in Miami, the condos, where all day to day the place is in rubbles and ruins and hundred and some people just missing underneath that went to bed thinking that tomorrow was a normal, regular day. And they didn't know that was their last night, possibly their last night on planet Earth. Every day, violence is increasing. And that's why we need you, you that don't know him tonight, before you leave this property. I don't care if you hit it right before you leave the, the grounds. All that's required of you is to say, Lord, save me. The thief on the cross didn't say much more than that. And Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. I know we hear it, we hear it, we hear it, it becomes common, but something has to be said with all that's going on on the earth today. There's never a better day to take everything you have and move into Psalm 91. Let it become your new address. Make him your habitation. You can go to hell healed. I'm going to say that again. You can go to hell with a good healing. The devil says, you know, yeah, you won a battle, but I won the war. You must be born again. You must be. And after saying this tonight, I don't know who could say no to a God who stepped up here tonight, did some wonderful instant miracles, is working with a lot of gradual progressive miracles, has encouraged all of us with hope. Yes. I heard the Lord say that tonight, so many of you are going to sleep so good tonight. It's going to break all of your disruptive sleep patterns. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Come on. But heads are bowed, eyes are closed all over the room tonight. I'm going to count to three. You don't need to hear a whole story on this. Count to three. If you're here in the room tonight and you want to pray this cleansing prayer from Calvary, this cleansing prayer that realigns you with the living Lord, this cleansing prayer that causes Jesus to live on the inside of you, I want you to slip up your hand where you're standing. I'm going to count to three. Come on. One, two, three. Slip it up. Come on. All over the place. Just slip it. I see it. I see the hands going up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Right here. Keep them up. Keep them up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Over here. I thank you. I thank you. Hands going up all over the auditorium. Thank you. Right where you're standing. I, I'm on. I want you to hold your hand. But I want you to pray it out loud where you're standing. Say, dear Jesus. Tonight. I'm making a U-turn. I'm coming back to you. I'm giving you back charge of my life. And I'm asking you to forgive me. I haven't been a good person. I've hurt a lot of people. I've said things. I've done things. I'm tired of myself. And I need help. I'm willing to change. But I need you tonight. And the grace of heaven to forgive me and wash my sins away and give me that new beginning. Come on in, Jesus. Be my Savior. Be my Lord starting tonight. And together, we'll go on a whole new journey learning about you, worshiping you, and looking forward to that day when we'll be reunited with you. I give you the praise in Jesus' name. Come on, give him a mighty, mighty shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, give him all the praise. Oh.
Come on, man. There's some people being healed. Just raise your hand, your eyes. I'm seeing a lot of eyes are clearing up tonight. Who is this with the eyes? Your eyes have gotten clear. You've noticed that all evening. Who is that? Back here, is that you, ma'am? You've noticed that? You have noticed that? Back there, you have. Right here, you have. What, how long have you had that? Five or six years. What is it? Do you know what you had? What was it? Black blotches on your eyes and they're gone. Oh my gosh. What's going on? What happened, sir? Something with your eyes? You're just praising them. Watch that hand there, sir. Watch that hand. Watch that just a minute. Who else? What's happened here, ma'am? You had breast cancer. Put your hands up high. Put your hands up high. Just move back with her. Give her a little bit of space. Move back a little bit. He's cleansing you, lady, of every microscopic cell. There's no loose cells floating around. What you had, you'll never have again. I said what you have, you'll never have again. Be loosed. Be loosed. Come on, somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. Amazing. Amazing. Who else over here? Somebody else, who else got healed over here? Yes, ma'am. You what? You do? Well, check it. You may not have to. Yes, sir. You're right in front of me here. Three years ago, you were here. Yes. The cancer's back. Then you, you answer, the, you open the door and you say, there's a new person living here. And you're not welcome. The, one of the reasons that we encourage you to stay filled, Billy Burke's a different person empty than I am filled. Do you hear me? If I'm filled, I'm going to love all of you no matter what. If I'm empty, I'm going to work at it. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Come on. Because one is loving through me and one is nothing there. So whenever you see your cell phone down to one cell, what do you do? You look for a plug. Because you can't be without your phone. You shouldn't know that whenever you're, when you're irritable, and you're not gracious any longer, and you're judgmental. You need a fresh filling. You don't need saved again, but you need to get filled again. Come on, put your hands up. We're gonna pray this filling, infilling prayer tonight. And I want you to receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, a fresh filling. If you've never received it before, I want you to really breathe it in and drink it in as we begin to pray it. And it's the thing that'll carry you. And you mix this with the written word of God and you're indestructible. Come on, put your hands up and say, Holy Ghost, Spirit of the living God. Why don't we sing that? Spirit, Spirit of the living God Put your hands up and say, fill me, Holy Spirit. 
Fill me, Holy Spirit. I need your infilling. I need your strength. Help me, Holy Spirit. Give me the hunger. Give me the strength. Bless me again. Cause me to speak to thee in an unknown tongue. Cause me today to depend upon you more. Cause me today to invite you more into every affair of my life. I receive infilling right now in Jesus' name. Come on, give him a mighty, mighty praise. Let me say, this has been a blessing these two days. Pastor George, thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Thank, thank you, you, Pastor Billy. We appreciate you so thank much. You. What a time we've had together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is so amazing. The presence is here. I, if I were some of you, those of you that were really healed, I would take the clothes. This is Billy Burke now. This isn't scripture, okay? So don't call the church and complain, right? <laughs> the very clothes that you were healed in. Set them aside. When God had something special, he put a rainbow. He put piles of rocks. He put the communion. He set something aside. He called consecrate. Those were the clothes that I was healed in. This is the belt that I was wearing. Anything you can do to show honor for how faithful God has been to you these two nights. Anyhow, thank you so much. It's been a blessing being with all of you. Really. Love you.